What's up, everyone? My name is Jelani from Fighting Lob, and I'm joined by Collier today. We will be doing another episode of The Wizarding World in Review this week for Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. So, welcome back. And uh, yeah, Collier, once again, directed by David Yates. Like I said, get used to him. He's going to be around for a while. It shows. Uh, it shows. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Um, released July 15th, 2009. So another summer release. They waited two years after the Order of the Phoenix, even though this one takes place a few weeks after. Yeah, and, and boy, does it show. Yeah. Uh, production budget of two hundred and fifty million dollars, much more than the last one. I think they boosted it by hundred million. They're stepping on them now. They are like, we got money. We Let's do this. Get. And boy, let me tell you, they flex. They flex. <laughs> they flex in this movie about that. Dude, that budget. it looks. They, 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 they did a lot. Of, they did a lot of magic. There's a lot of magic <laughs> happening in this movie. <laughs> I was like, I what? I, there's so much practical before, and I was like, we got effects, we got everything, we can just let's have them, let's have the Defenders just fly as dark smoke, from the, the smoke went from Lost, just go everywhere. They feel like well, they kind of like you know decrease some of the budget during the Quidditch match though. I don't know if you noticed, but I noticed a fuck out of that. Yeah, I mean, it was a leftover thing that, that it was actually I think that was supposed to happen in five. I know that same thing happens in six, but I think there's supposed to be more Quidditch in five too, but. They cut it out, but Rupert was really upset about that. Rom, he he was looking forward to actually doing that part. Oh, yeah. So he's like, he's like, okay, we'll do it. Like, All right, cool. <laughs> like, we're not gonna focus on it because it's not important. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, it's, it's just a, it's like a fun little moment to have. Yeah, okay. and it made worldwide nine hundred and thirty-four million dollars. So still making a lot of money. <laughs> still not slowing down anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I think it's the third highest or fourth highest gro grossing one. I don't know, but they're still they're still going. I'm so, that video to keep going. All right. Boy. All right. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I've been telling you a lot of this off camera, but not a fan of this movie. Not a fan. Collier did not like this movie. Why? I don't know. I, I, I guess was, we'll get into it. I wasn't. Mm, nope. You guys will find out. But in, I guess in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. All so, right. We go with the spot recap. All right, so first off, we're in the mogul world, right? We're in this tower. People are looking out a window. It's stormy outside, kind of like it is right now. The little they know, behind the clouds, another cloud. And it's a death, I mean, a dark mark cloud. It's a skull, some snakes, and then some death ears come out. And they, yeah. Yeah, but hold they on. Go, you just got, like, well, from what I got, it's like, it. That's the. It op no, it opens up. I, but I said the immediate beginning. I just said the immediate beginning. How did I forget anything? Harry Potter has seen some shit during the whole photo op thing, like right after the movie. It takes place. We it takes place after Order of the Phoenix. He's seen shit already. We know this. We did this last week, Collier. Anyway, okay. So I'm sorry. This is not you important. want me to do the slow mo? He they do a slow mo walk. No one puts his left arm around him. They focus on two rings, and he walks him away. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> we, yeah, the I was they going. Those rings I'm getting to something important. We're gonna put a pin in it too. <laughs> I'm not sure if you noticed what the Death Eaters hit or who they took. No, I did not. Yeah, I, okay, I, good. Because I just showed that, oh, uh, it's no storm. It, it'd be Death Eaters. Yeah. And they are wrecking everything. Yeah, they went, to, uh, they went to Diagon Alley. They hit a shop. They uh -huh. took one out. And there's this one guy. The rest of them, they have masks on. This guy, he doesn't give a fuck. Do you know his name? No. No, because they don't say it in the movie. But they do say it in the movie. But you have to pay attention to it. Hmm. Uh, put a, well, now put a finish. His name's Fenrir Greyback. Fenrir Greyback. The, yeah. the, the, the guy. The, the yeah. world's showing his face. He's like, hey. <laughs> Uh, Dude, okay, I like. I, I knew it. I freaking knew it. No, I you never like, see it in the movies, but in the books, he's a werewolf. I, he's like, I, I saw his face. Like, you know what? I like the way this guy looks. I don't know why, but something in the back of my brain, like, hey, you love this. I'm like, I think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna love him. He's like, fuck yeah, He's a go. werewolf, and yeah. that like, no, it makes sense now. That's what a werewolf would look like. Yeah, one who is like doesn't like try stopping it, like re like about. Re Lupin, like, doesn't want to be one, but he's like, I don't give a fuck. This is dope. <laughs> that be me. That be me. Like, hey, yeah. full moon, let's do it. <coughs> so, yeah, they take some from the shop, put a bag over his head, just so you don't know who it is, but I know who it is. Put a pin in it? Yeah, put a pin in it. We'll get back to that in maybe one or two movies. I don't know. Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I don't know when they reveal it. I need to think about it still. It might be next movie. Uh, Anyway. Fucking, um, then they take off. And you know what they do? Instead of just leaving normally, they say, now we're going to fuck up this muggle bridge. And then they fuck that bridge up. That bridge, however, people kind of, you know, like, it's not supposed to be that bridge. Because that bridge, this movie takes place in between 1997 and 1998, right? Uh-huh. 
that bridge that they have shown there was not complete until 2001. So they feel like, well, that's an accurate me. And I was like, I mean, who cares? It looked dope. It yeah. dope. They killed, some, they killed some muggles and they bounced. And then we are at a train station. Harry, he's just reading the newspaper. He's this really cute waitress checking him out. And he started talking to her. They start chatting up who's Harry Potter. He's some tosser. What the, I was wondering, I get off at 11. I was like, fucking bang, bang out. out. <laughs> Let's go, Harry. And then he's like, he's like yes. And then I, <laughs> like, let's go. All right, let's and do then it. he sees it out the window in front of this thing, this little uh, ad that says "Divine Magic" on it, which mm-hmm. I really enjoy. I was like, "That's good." So Dumbledore shows up, and I'll tell you right now, I would have ignored him. I was like, I, "I'm sorry, who new phone? Who this? I don't know." It's like, the sir, moment, I yeah, don't the know moment you. I saw Dumbledore, like, "All right, <laughs> sorry, Harry, but you're uh... you just got cock blocked. I'm sorry. It's it's not happening tonight." <laughs> But not, okay, no, is that, is, is that moment <coughs> in a game where you see something that's like, you know, oh, this is going to be one hell of a side quest. It's not a side quest, it's the main quest. The side quest was the date. It's like that, it's like that playing GTA 4, right? Where you get the date missions, and you don't have to keep doing them. But, you know. You know? I know. You know. I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Oh, yeah. Just a little thing, a couple of the things here. Not anything with the seed. First of all, the fake working title of this, you know, so they know that, so people don't go storming the sets or whatever. The fake working title. Yeah. Okay. Uh, champion. Just putting that out there. That's the only reason I did it. Yeah, I would not have never pointed that out if it was not called Champion. Just <laughs> doing it. Also, one of her spent an estimated one hundred and fifty-five million dollars to market and distribute the film. I'm not. I don't think that's included with the production budget. Hmm. So, they spent like I want to say a good four hundred million on this film. But I mean, they made their money back. Champion. So it's like, oh, uh, we're, we're filming a movie called Champion. Okay, cool. We'll just move along. And so, except for that one person who stayed, is like, is that Albert Dumbledore in the subway? Nope, you don't see him. You don't see him. <laughs> Fucking, um. Yeah, anyway. All right, cool. They go talk, he goes talk to Albus, and they're like, hey, um, I realized I missed something. What'd you miss? The snake thing. There's a snake thing before or after this. It's after this. It's after it's this. It's in my notes. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because you see in the newspaper, Malfoy... Malfoy, Malfoy in the, the family. And yeah, family left during trial. Yeah, yeah, the, I have that. Like, you know, uh, he's reading the newspaper. But you see now, because he got exposed, because, you know, they kind of found him at the scene of the crime. It's like, mm-hmm. uh-oh. Like, yeah. Mm. That's why you don't see Lucius this film. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. But you do see Draco Small. Yeah, for but the first time. we'll get to that later. Pippin. Pippin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so they go and they go. They apparate to this little place called. Uh, That's what it was called. Apparate. Yeah, I said that. In the la- I said that in the last one accidentally. I was like apparition. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't notice, so it's fine. Um, but uh, no, like uh, yeah, it's like hey, we should take the pin out. He even said like hey, take my arm. Yeah. Like, to me, it's like take your mar- take my arm. You want to live? I wrote take my arm. You want to holy shit teleport? Yeah. Oh, you also see his right hand fucked up. Yeah, you I'm like, tell, uh, but you don't know about it yet. Huh? You don't get to know about it. It's fine. I'm, I'm, sure I'm pretty sure it had to do... I'm, I was just thinking like maybe it was something with the whole battle with Dumbledore. He got fucked up some way that I missed. I don't know. I was too lazy to go back and watch that little last yeah, he, he would have told Harry because Harry was there, but no, it wasn't that one. I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. Um, put a pin so, in it. So, put a pin in it. Motherfucker. They app... They app, app oh, taking a pin out. That's what oh. Fred and George were doing. Remember they were just popping up everywhere? They were apparating. Yes. Because they already learned how to. In the Half Blood oh. Prince, the book, this is the year they learn how to apparate. Well, it's out of the last one. I, it's one to two. I always get these mixed up. One of them they learn how to apparate. The other one they learn how to do spells without saying them aloud. Mm. It's one of those two. I'm not sure which one it is, but I think it might have been Order of Things they learn how to apparate, but they can't. They're not allowed to do it yet, of course. And then Six of might learn how to do spells. Without At this them. point, the 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 twins should have graduated. Wait, no, no, no. It is apparition. This one because Harry was like, I'm guessing that's apparition. He's like. Yeah, you're taking a vote, but most people, uh... Most people would throw up, up. like... I can't, uh, imagine, I can't why. imagine why. Can't wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> then they go, they're walking down this little, uh, neighborhood. They go to his house. It is wrecked. No yeah. Says, Bond out, let's go. And they're going through it, and everything is fucked up. Blood's dripping. He's on Harry's forehead. He's about to do it. That, nah, dumb door. Mm. Mm, tastes I'm like fall. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> you, you say what? Tastes like what? Tastes like fall. Fall. Yeah, he looks around. He sees a chair that's upright. It's like, all right, cool. This all right, is clearly cool. you. <laughs> like, you know, what? did you notice the shoes? Hmm? Yeah, like, yeah. I saw. I'm like, uh, he missed that part. Expelleramus. <laughs> yeah, he just 
Merlin's weird. And then it's Professor, it's uh, Mr. Horse. Horse. It's Horse Slughorn. Horse Slughorn was the former uh, head of Slytherin. Okay. Before Snape. Which, there's a line in the movie when he's, see, when he's going to, um, we're talking to Harry about the, the black family. He said Remus Black. He's like, is yeah. a champion going to teach his brother? I will complete the set. That doesn't make sense because he's a potions teacher. Everyone would have been taught by him. It's supposed to be, it's a shame he, he didn't join my house. I would have loved to complete the set. Because mm. Sirius was the only one of them who went to Gryffindor. The rest of the blacks went to Slytherin. Yeah. That's why. Just was like, that's the kind of weird line they had in the well, movie I mean, that didn't I'm, make sense. But I'm yeah. guessing the hat chose wisely then because it kind of seemed like Sirius yeah. belonged. I also put him on a path to his death, but I digress. <laughs> <laughs> because they're serious as Man, even though he was a, you know, his brother died a few weeks ago. I was like, yeah, thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dumbledore went to the loo. He came back with a magazine. Can I take this? Sure. They're out. They're acting like this is his house. This is not Horace's house at all. This is someone else's house. <laughs> <laughs> that he's just hiding in because definitely because Deathy's is like, I can only say no to them for so long. So he never stays in a, uh, any place more than a week, which is a horrible way to live. I don't know why you want to say, yeah, I'm going to Hogwarts with all the most powerful wizards in the world. I'm definitely going to the safe place. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're if you have our business done here, we're on our way. So this and he knows out. he knows how. Like you know what, I'm not going to go ask. I'm going to just show him a prize that he would want, and then I'm going to walk away, and then he's going to go chase and it. And that is how you do it. Okay, Double do you. You do negotiations right there. <laughs> I'm going to break this up with another one. Oh. Uh, we know David Yates uh, directed this film. David Yates. Okay, yeah. But originally, well, not it's not that he was going to, but it was offered for for Guillermo del Toro. To, um, the same dude who did uh, Shape of Water, Pacific Rim, Hellboy, which actually, yeah, he uh, turned down the chance to direct the film so he could go work on Hellboy 2 Golden Army, released in 2008. I forgot that Hellboy had a sequel. Yeah, it did too. And so did the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now they're rebooting it without Guillermo del Toro. It's, it, it, didn't, it doesn't make money. They're not exactly the best films in the world. They're hit. You know, Toro's very hit or miss with me, more miss and hit, but you know, he has some good ones. I like Pacific Rim. It's dumb. It's fun. He knows what it is. <laughs> dumb fun. Dumb fun. It's dumb. Dumb fun. Bum, bum. Oh, shit. Oh? That's one of my Easter eggs. I would just say something I knew off the, from the books. That's one of the Easter eggs I had in here. I just nailed everything entirely with that whole serious black thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, then. Woof. <laughs> oh, also, this is the only Harry Potter film to be Oscar nominated for Best Cinematography, which I find kind of ironic. Uh, because I Free up storage space. Oh man, that's the thing, isn't it? Well, we're gonna see where we're gonna see where this one takes us. Come on, we're gonna see where this we're gonna see this one. <laughs> Which I found, like, like I say, I'm finding ironic because I found my point in meantime. The movie say, "Turn on the light." Fuck! I can't see anything. Immediately, it was like, first uh, I watched the movie, I was like, "All right, cool. I need to turn to close the because it's ten minutes in, and I can't see a goddamn thing on the screen." Yeah. <laughs> So, like, I, I turned, like, okay, my TV, the t- uh, TV that I have is like, this thing is, doesn't have a backlight. Uh, <laughs> everything is dark. So I put it on vivid mode. <coughs> like, that, that, that ain't working. I turn off the brightness, like, now everything is just white. I'm like, come on, I can't. I watched it, when I watched it last night, not as hard of a time seeing it, so I guess when you're watching it with a darker room. Yeah. Like, when I was watching, I watched it the first time, I watched it in the, in the afternoon. It was like 3 o'clock. I was like, it's bright outside, and I was like, I can't see a goddamn thing on this screen. I oh. like, I got, I had to turn, I to close all the blinds, and I was like, I can't see anything. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I was watching it in the dark and on the crappy TV that we have, and it's just uh, you know, it was sort of like, but hey, I, oh. yeah, I, I dealt with it. So yes. another thing, yes. So yeah, you know how this is not your favorite of the Harry Potter films. This is also Daniel Radcliffe's least favorite of his own performance in the series. Wait, State, Danny, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, Harry Potter himself. Stating in an interview in 2014 that he was just, uh, he was, quote, just not very good in it, and calling it, quote, hard to watch, unquote. I forgot to unquote the first one. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you're not alone with this saying, like, yeah, it's not your favorite. I mean, okay, I'm not ragging all that because... I don't, I don't, think, it's, I don't think it's bad. No, 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 it's not it's bad. Like, it's like, it's like, this... <laughs> The events that unfolded in the movie. Oh, so that's why you don't. Like that's it. why oh, so you're I not don't. saying like you don't. You're not liking it like not quality wise, just like what happened. You're like, what happened no. in the movie? It's like, like you said, like like the episode that Crow dies in Ruby will be like your least favorite. Not that is favorite. 
I said that's one of them. I was talking about watching the show. That's yeah, that's, that's what happened. Yeah, <laughs> and not least favorite, definitely least favorite. When I stop watching the show, that's, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> that is me with this movie hmm. because right. of the events that well, I'm putting. You guys gonna, will find out. Here's the thing: you're gonna have to keep watching that. <laughs> you're, huh? you're gonna have to keep watching that. I know. I okay. Know. Anyway, so it. I mean, it's where were we? I was just thinking off. He's, oh yeah, he's 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 gonna come back. He wants someone else's old office, and he wants a raise. They're mad times living, mad. Then. We go to Snake. Well, no, we cut to... Wait, wait, wait. It's built to exchange and her sister. And her sister. Oh, boy. They appar- no, no, no. They apparate to... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Just, notes, man. Yeah, notes. I, know, I know. I just forgot it because it's not really that important. But <laughs> it's really kind of forgettable there because it's like it's trying to do the whole, hey, Harry Ginny thing. And I was like, I don't Dude, care. and you know what? You said that earlier. Like, oh, yeah, in the books, they're supposed to like, have like, you no know, make Ginny have like a crush on him the entire time. But, like, it's not, you know, brought up in movies as, as much. This one, it, so, in this one, it's like... It, this, this one, it's, it's like, like, it's like, like they're trying to be subtle with the other ones. And this one's like... Huh, yeah! It's, it's like, like, okay, <laughs> Harry, Ginny. <laughs> that was literally this scene. It's like... He's like, what? When did Harry get here? Harry who? Harry Potter, of course. Like, He's not here. Who it's other like, Harry do you... It's like, what is this Looney Tunes scene I'm looking at? <laughs> I know. Then Harry walks in, and then Ginny's the first one down there. Well, of course, she was already down there. He goes, give him a big old hug. Just a little... Mm, 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 mm. And then Hermione comes up. She just yeah, there nice. her teeth. Mm-hmm. Then Molly comes up. She just got from the stairs. And then here comes Ron. Did Ron get a hug? I think he did, but I don't remember. Uh, uh, <laughs> not the yeah, he did, he did. And then... Uh, a little, something, a little something that I picked up. I'm like, did the thing hey, the, uh, the yeah. no, he tried to use him. I was like, oh, you, you, you got a face there. Yeah. She doesn't wipe it off. She, she, like, he does, just smiles. Just smiles. And then they end that scene. Yeah. They're upstairs. And they're my little, ship. My ship. My ship. That's what I said. Like, oh, Ron and her mind are on the same, in the same screen on the scene. My ship. <laughs> then they're upstairs and they're roasting a newspaper, it looks like, and they're just talking. Just talking. People yeah, not yeah. Go, like, uh, Mom's mom, Molly. Didn't, I think that's her name, Molly. They didn't want them to go back to uh, Hogwarts. That it wasn't safe. Dad said it's not. It was like that's rubbish. Then they eventually came around. That's no rubbish. Um, they said, "What is Dumbledore? What, what the hell? Because Ministry thinks he's getting old. Well, yeah, he is. Which I've been saying for years. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he give a please. Give a pl- give a please. Give he said, or 100 take. He's hundred fifty. Give or take. Yeah, give or take. Which another thing. J.K. Rowling actually said Dumbledore is one hundred fifty. In an interview, but on her site, the, the Potter, the Potter the site, Pottermore thing, yeah, it says that he he was born eighteen eighty one, which means he would have died around at some point. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> they watched the movie, you know. <laughs> would have died around some point between one hundred fifteen and one hundred sixteen mm-hmm. years old. Which I mean, it's still pretty fucking old. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, not one hundred fifty, or right. maybe one hundred fifty. Who knows? She doesn't really know at this point. Who yeah. cares? So you can make I, it up whenever you go along. He probably lied about his age. And at that point, they were, uh, you know, making the little newspaper Kindle. And then the camera just so, just, you know, zooms in on the paper and it just shows a picture of uh, Draco Malfoy and it's just burning away. Hmm. Very ominous. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. So, me, me, whatever. Whatever. I was paying attention to... It's whatever. In, in, it's whatever. whatever. Anyway, so we cut to our sister. Put a pin in it. We cut to our sister and we cut to uh, Bellatrix Strange. They're sisters. And they are going to Snake yeah, House. Yeah, uh, two girls with, with Peter well, Pettigrew in Peter Pettigrew for in all scene. in yeah, all definitely. caps. Snape question mark exclamation point. <laughs> I just felt everything within me that was like, okay, all my love for the character of Snape that was like, you know, like, oh, he's a good character, but then like the no, the the, the untrusting part about well, him that you, came back to light. Like, did you remember the scene in Goblet of Fire when Harry first went to the Pensive at the court trial? And Victor Kakarov, he's naming off names, and he says Cerberus Snape. And then Dumbledore mm-hmm. stands up and says he was a double agent working for us against the Dark Lord the entire time. Yeah, so, I, I, I paid attention in to that. In that point, Dark Lord returns. You think, okay, of course, Snape's back in action. He's just like, all right, cool. But then he's like, cool, make the unbreakable vow. Huh? <laughs> he's a double-double agent. He's a double double. He's a double double agent. He makes the unbreakable vow, which means he whatever this goal is that they don't, they don't, no one, they're not saying it. They're not saying it, but but they have to help. If Draco can't do it himself, Snape has to help and do it himself. Otherwise, you know, unbreakable vow, you kind of die. Yeah. At least we know what happens if you don't participate. Goblet of fire. Yeah. See, you see what happens, and they brought it up later. What happens if you don't? You die. Cool. That's uh, that's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> you die. 
Cool. Then let's do this thing. That's, that's all I need. You, how hard was that? It was a like I said. It was a line. <laughs> help, oh, you know. Also, also up every uh, seat there. What's up? Um. Okay. No. Wait. Unbreakable bond. Oh fuck! That's what I missed. It's made to protect this asshole. Bro, <laughs> but okay, I just want to point out. Um, what is it? Bellatrix the Strange. Bellatrix the Strange. Her. Yeah. The actress Helen Bonham Carter plays that role so well. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this lady is. <clears throat> <clears throat> he plays a part like I don't like the character, but he plays it so like wow that just fits everything as to how he looks, her mannerisms, just no, just the. Yeah, I'm like, that. that is so really good. good. I've never fell in love with like a, a villain and then turn around and hate him. I love to hate this villain. Uh, but like, even though she just kills her, he's black. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> really the first time you hear in this movie. I, I can't see it back. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Also, by the way, I think that's just like the same clip from the last one. What? Well, in the farm? Yeah. No, no, that's a different one. I said in the beginning of this film, when you... When, if you have the subtitles on and you have the volume up, you can hear the line, I killed Sirius Black. You know, when they're about to go to the flashes with Harry. Oh, no, yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, that's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, I missed, a, I missed something for a phrase, right? <laughs> Many fans have expressed distaste in the fact that Harry is shown at the train station saying it would make more sense for him to be at the Dursleys. That's actually a nod to the book because Harry said he liked writing trains that helped him move off his mind. And I think it makes more sense to be not at the Dursleys, personally. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would have made more sense for him to be at non Dursley's at any point in his life. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, just because I'm he's glad, gonna, I'm just glad just glad that in the book does not, like, this is one thing that's like, hey, come on, guys, it's an adaptation. You can take you can take liberties with it. I am glad that I didn't see the Dursley's again. Yeah, once again, not here. I don't, I hope I don't see him for the next two movies. I hope, I hope. Oh, boy. You got the movie next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay, another one. Uh, Helen, Mc, uh, Helen McCory, Narcissa Malfoy. Oh. Nope. The mommy mother. The, oh, okay, yeah. the, the mom. Okay, yeah. yeah mama Malfoy. Mama Malfoy. She had been had been cast to play in our sister. So sis, she had been cast to play Bellatrix was strange in Order of the Phoenix. That was oh, so, so she was originally... She was going to be Bellatrix, but had to back out because she was pregnant. With baby Malfoy? No, with her own child. No, <laughs> actual... <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> oh, okay, let me... I'm just going to scroll no, through here. See ba- baby Malfoy's baby brother. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else I missed. They're multiplying! Uh, Dame Maggie Smith, uh, McGonagall, completed this film in while undergoing radiotherapy as for treatment for breast cancer. Huh. Yeah. I also like her character, too. He's, he needs more screen time. I just have a feeling that he's just going to be... <laughs> just, just the yeah, old... like, so a, lot, a lot of these characters that you're liking, is like, if you want more time with them, you're going to have to go read the books. Because... They're so their parts are so minuscule to, to the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. Like Ron's girlfriend, what's her name? Mm. Hermione. No. Hermione. No. No. Hermione. no. I mean, in this movie, Hermione. What is her name? The Hermione. one who kisses him at the beginning. Hermione. No. Hermione. You don't know her name. She doesn't exist. She does exist. Fuck her. I, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, <laughs> uh, this no. room's taken. Hmm. Huh? Remember she walked in her her body of her there. Oh, this room's taken. They go somewhere else. They're going up the stairway. Hey, call you. The, the the bedrooms are up there. Where are they going? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but well, yeah, what's her name? Don't know, don't yeah, care. Uh-huh. She, she's wrecking my shit. It's not even that. You just they, they didn't they didn't you didn't hear her mention it once, did you? Think back. Did you hear her, her, her mention her name once? You didn't even hear Fenrir's name in this. No. I yeah, just, you didn't hear... All I know is like, who are Mom you? Mom calls her her nickname once. It's Lav. Her name is Lavender Brown. She's in the books. That's what I do. That's the only reason I know who she is because I read the books. Otherwise, you have no clue who this character is. They don't give her introduction. I think the, the, the first time I see her was at the Quidditch practice. No, the first time you see her is in... Dread uh, Friend Dread Shop, which is actually not the first time you see this oh, character. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah You right. see this character in other movies, but she's played different actresses. She was originally a black actress back in, I think, Chamber of Secrets, and they changed the KPG the actresses until they had speaking lines for her to do. And then there's a white actress all of a sudden. And then they are like, well, I don't know who this character is. <laughs> Hi, Ron. Hey. And he just walks off. And does it. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. 
<laughs> it's so str- in the movie, a lot of strange things happen. Don't know how I got into <laughs> it. Nominated for Just like Benefits of Strange. Shut up. So they make an unbreakable vow. <laughs> we just went on the whole tangent. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> well, a whole tangent. Uh, so he's going to pr- uh, help protect Draco, and he's going to make sure he's safe and whatever and all that. For the Dark Lord. For the Dark Lord, because Dark Lord told him what's up, and didn't tell anyone else what's up. Well, and you're like, Dark Lord told you, of course he told me, he trusted me. Because he, he trusted me. Yeah, he uh, helped, he deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Beltrick snarks at it, it's like, of all, all right, are you going to say every line like him? Because I want you to stop. <laughs> I mean, I, I just... Oh this my break, God. We got it. We know. <laughs> We know, Collier. He's great, but what? Oh my God! In who's? Uh, anyway, so next we cut to Friend George's shop, right? Yeah, that's a <laughs> Weasley <laughs> Twins Emporium yeah. sale. Yeah, they, love they, po- they, business has taken off. And then love potion. Hmm. Put a pin in it. There was no. I saw them. Like, there was also, also the also the, the, the black. The, yeah, <laughs> like huh? Good for escape. That. Like, oh is it, yeah. Okay. Put a pin in that one. And love potion. Put a pin in that one. All right. So how much for this? Five galleons. How much for me? Five, Five galleons. I'm, I'm your brother. brother. Ten galleons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love. I, I remember at first, like I didn't really like him as much, but you know, as it got older and got you know more comedic lines and just the brother twin bond that they have, like I don't know why how I didn't fall in love with these boys in the first time. They're, 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 they're freaking them. great. They're fast rush. Fucking. Uh, yeah, they you go out, they leave the store, go outside. Oh, you see Lavender for a second, and you see this other guy. Uh, what's his name? Cormac, whatever. Fuck him. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, new girl, get off my ship. <laughs> they say hi, and then they go out. I don't understand. Get off my Stop ship. Stop <laughs> telling it to do things. How do you turn the stereo off? Never mind. Cool. I'm glad that happened. Anyway. <laughs> Ron spot uh, Malfoy and oh no no they they start walking out all the street and he's like how's you know how friend George doing it half dying got alleys closed down Ron's like well people need to laugh right now it's dark times they're like yeah they do yeah and then they go to Ollivanders he's like oh man everyone got to walk for Ollivanders and it's been destroyed it's been wrecked yeah and then it's like hey is it me or does Malfoy and his mom mm-hmm. look like they don't want to be followed yeah also I find it kind of weird that all of them are just walking into it. Uh, a crime a, scene. Yeah. I'm kind of weird that this crime scene's just sitting here open. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where, where are Where's the caution tape? Where are the horrors? What's going on here? They're like, all right, cool. They, they're mom and mom and boy. Stalking the mom they're going, they're, That's what I got. That's Assassin's Creed mission down to Nocturne Alley. And mm-hmm. on there, you see a picture, which is how you learn Finnier Greyback Knight. It's his wanted poster. Yeah. That's the only way, that's the only way you get to know his name. Only way. They don't mention him. They even have a conversation with him. He speaks no lie. <laughs> He speaks one line in this movie. One line. One line. What did he say? It was at the end. When he's in the office with all of them. Ah, that's right, that's right, right, that's right, that's right. He's uh, he's like a coward just like his father. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. He won't do it. (laughs) And that's when my mom was like, I might blast you. (laughs) He looks like, huh? (laughs) Anyway. uh, So, the Assassin's Creed mission, they walk into the uh, burn... Burning and burst or whatever. I think that's the same shop in two, where Harry uh, accidentally went into. When yeah, he had, yeah, yeah, same one. Um, and then they're all looking around something. They're on the roof, and they're like at this point, me, I'm just like, Harry, you know what? Honestly, you can just go through it without me. It's not that important to me. I know you have a grudge <laughs> with them. I'll just wait. I'll I'll be your lookout or whatever. Who gives a shit? <laughs> and they're on the roof looking. They're like, what's going on in there? You can't hear anything, so looking's not going to help you. Yeah. And they see someone walk in front. They all duck down, turn off. Because look, it's Finrear. Don't know his name, but he's still there. Actually, no. Uh, they see Malfoy messing with the cabinet first. I'm like, they're looking in. Holly, I'm not going to do like he's. I'm not going to say he look. He stepped left. He stepped right. I mean, I don't know why that with my opposite feet. But there we are. Listen, we gotta keep it moving, and we can't have another three hour video describing Harry Potter. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking God of Fire was too much, man. <laughs> Anyway, they see Frenrir, he turns around, they duck, and they're like, cool. Everything goes cut black. To, cut to black, they're on a train. And they're like, what happened? It's obvious. I don't know why they also wait this long to discuss this, but yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. They, well, how long has it been? A few days? <laughs> like, well, what's going on? It's obvious the initiation. It's like, all right, you're just being paranoid now, Harry. He's like, he's one of them now. He's a Death Eater. Weird thing, Harry, completely right the entire time. He just has no proof. He's just like, he just spout. He's right all the entire movie. But mm-hmm. he never has proof, so he's just saying it. And it's like, Harry, come on, man, you got it. And you know what? Snape picked up on that later on in the movie too. Yeah. Like, it must have, like, you know, 
you gotta have like a talent for it, man. Cause you just over here saying stuff, saying it's so great to be the chosen one. Yeah, I mean, but he was kind of wrong. So he was wrong earlier in this franchise. Who else, Nate? No, Harry, Peter. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. About Snape trying to learn the sorcerer stone. It's like, oh, wrong one. <laughs> what did I say, Peter? You said Peter. Pettigrew. Potter. Potter. Pa- oh. I wanted to say Potter. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, and then they, they obviously disagree with him. Oh, you see, best girl Luna. Yeah, so he's back. Sam Quibbler, her father's um uh, newspaper. That's what it is, the Quibbler. Yeah, Plus yeah. The Daily Prophet. Yeah, I saw her. I'm like, oh! oh, also, did you did, did you did you see in the newspaper that the uh, um 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 they had uh-huh. the new? Wait, did they? No, I think they. I think they. Never mind. The old the older figures they said the the minister was going to retire. They have a new minister of magic now. Hmm. I mean, I would imagine because like in the previous after that fuck up, uh, not yeah, was back. Yeah, like, yeah, it showed in newspaper Michael. that he was gonna step down anyways. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I, I, was, I was wondering if that it was in this newspaper, but like, oh no, that was the last newspaper. It's like uh, it's a whole newspaper. real thing. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so fucking uh, Harry's like, cool. I need some air. You got something on your forehead. All right, wait, no, it's still there. Gone. Cause I I was looking at like I know Jelani doesn't have two moles on his forehead. You got two moles. <laughs> like anyway. there's jewels in this piece of lamp. Anyway, so motherfuckers, Harry's like, cool. I need some air. You guys are not listening to me. So, what's Harry really doing? He gets some recon. I'm pretty sure someone should have noticed that he had his invisibility cloak with him the entire time. He just, like... Yeah. Hermione should at least notice, like, huh, where's he going with that? Yeah. I, I saw that. Oh, look at that. Anyway. Uh, mysterious they cut package. To, they're going to... He's going to the Slytherin uh, cart. Does sound this boom. Boof. Everyone's like, what was that? Some girl says, like... Oh, this is a prank or whatever. Yeah. I forgot her name. She's a character in the books, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Blaze has one line where they mention his name. Something funny, Blaze. And he, I don't know what he says. I don't know. It's just, I was like, why are, why are these characters introduced, but the ones that are speaking that aren't? <laughs> why? Oh, it's got to throw them, because, like, you know, got to satisfy the, the, the customer's books, needs. The book lines. Draco's, he's talking shit. He's like, man, Hogwarts is stupid. It's pathetic. I re- I'd throw myself off the Charm Tower if I had to be there for another two term. People are like, what are you talking two about? Two more like, years. Two more years. They're like, well, I'm gonna be practicing charms next year. That's what he's you know, like. Yeah. Blaze laughing. He's like, something funny, Blaze. Blaze nope. character in the book. I don't know. I like Blaze in the book. No, no, like he's just here. He's just some guy. It's like, he looks up. He knows something moving. It's like, all right, cool. Harry's here. He, he just knew. He just knew. It's like, yeah. He's, Harry, Harry's here. Doesn't mean the movies don't get across. Draco also very smart. Oh yeah. Yes. Draco's smart. He's noticed that. He's like, all right, cool. This is what's going on. He he really fits it together. But you know, in the the. Movies, I don't say all, all movies prior to this. You would think Draco just um, bumbling us, uh, like he's not. He's like, no, he's actually pretty skilled. Yeah, but they, you know, you wouldn't know that from the movies. <laughs> no, because that's not how they, they portrayed him as like you know, just an asshole yeah. kid to like a weird little <laughs> sniveling cow. Like, yeah, I mean, does he have those moments in the book? Sure, but also when a hippogriff goes like, man, you would be like that too. <laughs> <laughs> when he fucking wrecks your arm, you would be like. Ah! Ah! When Hermione, you hear my father. When Hermione punches you in the fucking face, maybe like it would hurt. <laughs> but like you only see those moments of him, though, so that's all you think of him. Yeah. Which is like one thing. Like man, I know I shouldn't want to part for this, but I was like, I like these books, and I kind of want to see them portray him the same way. I don't know. How do you fix these problems overnight? You kind of don't. You either make two parters, or you just adapt it in a way that works. And I think they still kind of work. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, the train approaches and oh, everyone's yeah. leaving. It's yeah. like, no, I'm just like, gonna stay back. Uh, like, you guys go ahead. I gotta check something out. And right. everyone else is gonna be like, "What do you gotta check out on a train?" <laughs> and then he but pulls yeah. the, pulls out a curtain. And, and all, all the curtain. I'm like, "What? Magic? Woo. Magic? <laughs> okay." Did you tell you it's uh, room to each drop. Uh, Professor Now that's the that's the one that they hit Neville with in the first one. Where with the Sorcerer's what? Perific. Perific. Totalis. Totalis. Remember when Neville it, it was a, it was a petri- uh, yeah, petrification. Yeah. Totally petrified. Yeah, I, I'm, I haven't heard that spell in so long, but I knew it was a petrified spell. Like, ah! He did it! <laughs> he did the spell. Yep. And then, like, you, you just barely see it. Here he falls. Like, you just see, like, a, a yeah, weird he, he, try, he tries to get out the way of it. And it's like, Harry, you should have moved a long time ago. <laughs> as soon as he got up, it, it was like, he started walking the door. That's what I know. Time like, to move. T- time to move. <laughs> I don't care if he hurt the tomb. <laughs> 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 you can't hit when you can't see. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he could, and he did. <laughs> true, true. And then he moves her club. Oh yeah, she's right. She was <laughs> about to drool off your chin. I was like, 
Fuck a duck. <laughs> 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 Dude, fucking curse on how your teeth taste, Potter. <laughs> 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 That's for my father. Drake it right back to London, bitch. And just walks out there. Let me tell you, though. Draco, nice suit in this film. I'm telling you. Liking the style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. It's getting hot in this room. <laughs> Wanna open the window? <clears throat> no, I'm good right now. <laughs> Only because I don't want to do a fall. That. Well, that. When we turn on the fan? No, I'm good. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah, turn on the fan. Yeah. Fan. Anyway. Right, and then uh, oh <laughs> Luna let's go Luna Technicolor Luna that's what I have here Technicolor Luna she's walking through like uh, found him just I don't know what she's supposed to do but she puts the clothes off she undoes it yeah undoes everything to him he's like how'd you find me Nar- Nargles they're full, they're, they're, your head's full of them not Nargles uh, uh, what were they called some other creature that some of us she was talking about earlier she was talking to Jenny and like what are I don't know I'm what are like oh like they they're in your this Make you do fuzzy they stuff in your brain. They fly your ears and make your, your brain fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, your, your, head's your head's full of them here. I was like, that's kind of weird. Well, he just but got I kicked mean, in the face, so that's why his head would be you fuzzy. You thought she was just crazy and making things up, but she has... Oh, like, no, no, no. I clearly see them. So oh, I was like, yeah. these are real. So, are, wait, are these real things? Or is... I don't, oh, Dude, I mean, she no, found Harry with it. Dude, no. I believed Luna the, the moment I met her. I'm like, you know what? I, I, yeah, sure. Normals. They're real. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you. I legitimately believe you. Yeah, so weird. Anyway. Misato, Nargles. Yeah, what are they? No, no, but they're they're real. Anyway, so they uh they were walking up the hill because they missed their carriages because she had to go and save Harry. He's like, it's okay. It's like being with a friend. I'm your friend, Luna. That's nice. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? He was like, does she not know their friends? <laughs> yeah. He was like. I knew you for like a little bit of a year, I guess. <laughs> We're friends. Sure. <laughs> it's going great. Then fucking um the uh They arrive and They're uh, taking they're taking names and like Dane, you've known me for five years, but wait, that No matter. excuse. Potter Potter Names. <laughs> and then like, who are those guys? Oris for security. So yeah. And then there she's Malfoy there, he's getting his uh, yes, his father's walking stick. Mm-hmm. Like, what's it came for? It's not his cane, it's a walking it's stick. Keep dope. Server comes up. I can vouch for Mr. Malfoy. And takes it. So good. Nice face, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can fix it for you. I mean, can you fix no- this? It's like, I mean, no. I can fix toes. Uh, I can toes, but how different are they really? It's like, sure, give it a go. I was like, Harry, are you sure about this? <laughs> but anyway, she does. She does at at this point, he probably doesn't, doesn't even care. But yeah, yeah, it's fixed nose. Yeah. Just and then, uh, first feel. Yeah, force and boy, that force field worked. Like, it just started with the little boy. Like, like mm-hmm. all right, cool. That's what that is. That's Magic what it is. Up. And then we go to the dining hall. I forget what happens when they were talking. Ron's eating. Hermione's not eating, but he's always oh, yeah. not worried about Stop it. Stop eating. Like, what? Do you not your realize best your friend? best friend is not here? Hermione, you donut. <laughs> and then her face lights up. <coughs> yep. And it's like, why is he? Jenny, like, he's covered in blood again. Why is he always covered in blood? <laughs> Oh, my thought, I it was is like, so how cute how they tried to how to push try to her concern it, to make on it, him. How to try to make it that a thing. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> I mean, like, they had something going in the Sorcerer's Stone when Peter goes to the house and Giddy comes down. He's like, oh. One. And runs back up. Potter, not Peter. God Two, damn it. Chamber of Secrets, not Chamber Sorcerer's Secret. Stone. Oh. He did not go to Ron's house in Sorcerer's Stone because he met Ron at Hogwarts. Well, no, not at Hogwarts, at the... Uh, on the train. On the train. Yeah. On the train station. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They had something, but they never went with it. I mean, it was just a crush thing. And also, she's dating someone else. Dean. Ooh, we put it. We get there. No, no, no. They mentioned it in the the, in the books. No, and not in the books. In the story. No. Uh, Remember when when, when um, in the Jenny of and Hermione were looking at the love potion. Yeah. They were like, well, oh yeah, like, well, you, you don't need it. You don't need it, you need it right yeah. now. We just get over it because it's not that important. But yeah, no, we're back to it anyway. It's, it's a little weird how to do these. I right, keep going. Take a pin out. If we're never a pin in. Oh, you, you're like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Cancel, cancel that pin. Uh, <laughs> I'll show this pin for a later time. So what are we now? Uh, uh, mm, 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 then. Oh, they, they, okay, they, they, they're doing the Once again, flex on the budget. They're that owl just was like that was never there before. Unnecessary. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. And then, 
Professor Horse. The one, okay, Professor Horse, and then the first, and then something happens in the first time in forever. Professor Snape is now the defense against a dark art teacher. Because you assume, Horace, oh wait, we're getting another teacher. He's going to be the defense against dark art. Yeah, like, oh, he's going to be the defense against dark art. And everyone got that in the book, too. And I'm reading it, I was like, oh, here we go. And they said, Professor Potion. And I said, huh? Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> then who is? And he said, and for, and for, and for the defense against dark art teacher, Professor Pro- Snape. Severus Snape. And I was like, no! <laughs> I was okay. Uh, Snape is finally defense of the uh is finally the defense of the dark art class teacher. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. And then uh. And I actually think in the book it's one of the grim things. I'm not sure. If it's been a book or not. I think I remember it though. It's like one of the grim things. Like man, they were thinking talking about all the bad things that keep having to defense of the dark art teacher. It's like well now Snape's one of them. It's like. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to something bad happening on this side. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's actually in the book or if that was in my head. But <laughs> okay, no, no, I, I knew that, like, okay, if he's the legit defense dark arts now, nothing's going to happen to him, and something's going to happen to this universe, and something's going to happen to Potter, and he's going to be involved some way, somehow. So anyway. This is not good. <laughs> I don't like this. So. But it also uh, made me remi- it reminded me of like when he was when he was getting interviewed by the ladies like yeah. and you yeah. never been the friends yeah. of the dark oh yeah. like we went over this last time yeah <laughs> like huh so now he got his chance yeah he got his chance what's gonna happen we'll figure it out anyway so uh what's his face talks about no 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 he talks yeah, about Tom Riddle school. oh yeah he yeah, uh, Tom Riddle cool he talks about like oh yeah there's a student in you here. are their greatest weapon because it's all because if it, they can be around for a little bit, but they're not going to be around forever. You are the future. That's essentially what he's saying. Children are the future. If all of you just say, like, no, we're not going to be Death Eaters, guess what? Eventually, they're just going to be gone. They're not going to be around forever. Yeah. I mean, you might have to deal with them for a very long while, but eventually, it's like, yeah, I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> they're just going to be dead. What are they going to do? Kill all the children? Cool. Now there are no more of you. <laughs> now there are definitely no more of you. All you've done is fuck up. But Draco, he's not, he's not happy about any of this. He's, he's not. He's not. And then bedtime, and I literally thought, I literally, okay, okay, off the bed, and then the next scene with them, like, you know, moving back and forth, I thought that was them just going to their dorms, but no, it's the next morning, going to class. Yeah, they're all going to classes. Yeah, and I'm guessing. Not, not, not the best way to transition that shit. I was like, uh. Oh, also, uh, they put, they put lights in that scene, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's daytime now, even though that light is, like, very gray and groggy. I mean, it's kind of like England, I guess, but it's like, man, it's still dark in here. So I don't know how you made it dark in day, but here we go. And yeah. Ron and Harry, they're just standing up above her, and they're just checking exactly. out all the girls. They're like, everything's happy. Max went to direct people to class, and then she calls Harry. She's like, this isn't good. Harry, I thought you would have been in potions. Well, uh, unless you didn't want to be Aura anymore. I was like, well, yeah, I had to get out. Oh, and my OWLs, and I didn't. He's like, well, when Sneak was teaching. Now, freaking um, Newt, Horace. Not, Horace, I actually want Newt, is have you expect, uh, accept uh, Newt with exceeding expectations? He's like, oh, I'll go immediately. Take Weasley with you. He's too happy. It's like, you know what I mean? You can just tell him to go somewhere else. Yeah. Also, like, you, you know, you have a free period. You, I mean, it, it's like, yeah, I don't feel like it. It's my period. Teachers right? don't want their kids to be having fun. It's literally like supervision. We're like, oh, <laughs> if the supervisor sees you having fun and having, you know, smiling and morale. Boy, are they gonna get ready to come and wreck this shit? Like, oh, you look like you're having fun. But yeah, Ron. Let's fix that. Ron went to practice for Quidditch. He doesn't want to go take potions. He's like, well, too bad you're going with me. They arrive to horses class. Oh, Harry, my boy, that you, that you never, I never see you. Oh, take a seat, whatever. We're gonna deal with that sooner or later. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to avoid it, but it's not happening, Collie. It's not happening. Uh, so anyway. Motherfuckers. Um, so in potions class, he's potions talk- class. They, uh, no, oh yeah, uh, Hermione's describing all the potions. She she goes, she knows everything. She's describing the love potion. The most dangerous well, potion is they, they literally brought that up again. Like, all right, this is two times now. Yep. This is two times now. Yeah, keep laughing. Rule three. I know rule three. Like you know what? Fucking. Um, At this point, it's the fucking rules of two. No, it's rule three. They mentioned three times. <laughs> I know. I know. My hand hurt from that class. Where the fuck were we? Do you remember? Where, where's my notes? Po- potions class. That's right. We're in potions class. Potions class. Okay. Love potions. Okay, so potions. they... My had... experiment too, first, apparently. Keep that in mind. Put a pin in it. It's not really important. I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I noticed that too. I'm like, huh, so you have a thing for... Uh... Experiment toothpaste. Second time I mentioned toothpaste in this one. All right, anyway, cool. Anyway, so... Then they Ron, to go, they Ron to go get and you gotta go get some books. And they go there. There's a new book. And there's a used book, a very old used book. They stop, they look at each other. 
front, the bigger one, it easily push it out the way. Like, like, look, and Harris get the other one, just. <laughs> like, right. oh, that's cute. And then, uh, you know. They each describe this other one. Felix Felicius, it's uh, Liquid Luck. Uh, anyone who can make this one potion, uh, uh, Death something, I don't know. Liquid Death, can uh, get this. And, and you'll have success in all your endeavors. Yeah. Until the effects wear, wear out, of course. Yeah, liquid luck. Oh no! Nope. Put a pin in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was like, "Well, you don't." Have to of course, Harry. Of course, Listen, you don't. Put, Harry you don't is gonna it. get it. You don't put pins. Oh, I get you can. I don't know. Whatever. You, you, you're using the pin system, so I need you to calm down with your pins. Your pin. You're pinning everything. You pin things that need to be pinned. <laughs> you put a pin. No pin for that. Never mind. Take that pin out. <laughs> uh, <I'm fine. laughs> no, no, that one's fine. But the other one you're doing earlier, I was like, that you need a pin. Oh, oh, the <laughs> anyway. one that I took out earlier. Yes. <laughs> it's like you're just saying pin everything. Uh, motherfucker, we um. Uh, all right, cool. Make uh, some sort of uh, something death. It, it was liquid. It, yeah, it was liquid, liquid death. death. Yeah, there's liquid death, liquid luck, whatever. Uh, anyone can do that. You can uh, um fucking if, uh, if you get, get uh, this. Yeah, warning. The only one ever student has ever been able to do this successfully. Cool. They all try. And I at, at this point, I think I already knew who it was. It's like, <laughs> who was it? it? It's probably the snake because you know he's the, the he's been the potions class teacher for so many years. What are the chances of him being like one of the best potions? I mean, uh, there, student. There, there, there's a possibility. The other possibility. I mean, that, that, that was a, that was the a first. possibility. Yeah, that Literally. too. That too. It was yeah, like, multiple it was possibilities Snape or, here. Well, so okay, anyway. I did think Voldemort, like, Voldemort, no, Snape, it makes more sense, but one of those two. Anywho, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, so Harry opens the book. This book's the property of Half-Blood Prince. All right, cool. Roll credits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> roll credits. <laughs> they, every, they all trying to cut this thing. It's flying all over the place. Obviously not supposed to cut it. It says, crush, don't cut with don't cut, cut crush with blade. blade. All right, cool. Does that? How do you do that? Crush, crush don't cut. Blade. It. But no. it says cut. No, it's just, just trust me on this one. And he's found all the instructions in, the book, in his book. While everyone else is doing the instructions. Everyone is everyone is fucking up. Next Hermione next, looked the worst. Her mind, has every Hermione's bit. hair is a reference to her hair and how she is in the book. She doesn't oh. have like straight hair. Her hair is frizzy. Huh. That's why when when they. Cast Emma Watson. People were like, "Wait, I thought Hermione was black." Because like, well, it never says that in the book. She just says she has like really curly hair. That's huh. all. That's all it said. That's why her hair was like so super fucking big in the first. One. Yeah. <laughs> like, so that's like it's supposed to be like oh, it's like like that. So yeah, it's like that thing. So anyway, fucking um, everyone else is doing that. Sheamus, of course, blows something up. Some yeah, girl cool. makes flubber <laughs> and some uh, 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 crab yeah. oil melt their spoon. I don't, don't think Draco's even trying this. I, well, he is trying because he wants that liquid luck. He's yeah, like, he oh, does. I need that because I need to do something later. We'll, yeah, we'll get to that later. Get that. Anyway, put it in. Uh, yeah, put it for. Well, he doesn't get the liquid luck, so no, not pin. He doesn't get that. He doesn't get that choice. But no, wait, wait, wait. When you're pinning stuff, you're drawing strings to it too. You got to connect the dots. It's like we know what he wants to look it for now, but it doesn't matter anymore because uh-huh. he doesn't get the liquid luck. So he just got that one. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Harry successfully doing it, and they eventually uh, get there. Drops a little leaf in it. Bam! Look at that. Yeah, I'm sure he's like, I'm sure this could kill us all. But when this, I'm like, then why are you having to make this? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, why? Just, wow. just one it? drop would kill us all. I'm like, all right. So this, uh, you know, how how do we dilute and dispose of this now? <laughs> That's a very good question. What do they do with that? <laughs> if you want to tweet JK Rowling about that be my guest she has an answer to him about she'll the not answer. respond to you <laughs> boop is that any good? it's alright you didn't know use uh, you know one for wine yeah I am a consumer of all alcohol sir except for but it's like <laughs> but more specifically can I I'm more of a scotch man now, though. I'm moving on from whiskey. I'm more of a scotch. Oh. Yeah. Scotch. Look, look at you. Your tastes are becoming Yeah, scotch are expensive, though. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we are, like Jameson. Oh. Fucking, uh, Harry gets liquid luck. Everyone else is fucking mad and jealous. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna applaud anyway, so let's fucking do it. Yeah. My fraud didn't even clap no, for him. No, they, 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 they never clap for him. They've never clapped for him at any point. Nope. Anyway, so, next we are, uh, uh, Dumbledore's like, office. Uh, uh, the prince knows all in this book. And meet him with Dumbledore, yes. Yeah, Dumbledore's office. He calls him in there. He's like talking to him. Chat, little chat of like, how are your classes going? Oh, good. He's like, I'm pretty sure. Uh, of course, over his my abilities. Do you? Definitely. Have a little chat. Little, little, That's a little chat. Little like, you get a lot more Dumbledore in this one. And you know why now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, he's like, well, how about uh, I could be outside the classroom? I know you're hanging around with Miss Granger a lot. 
Hmm. He's like, oh no, we're uh, uh she's brilliant, but we're we're just friends. Like, hey, hey, hey! Don't you don't touch my ship. Don't don't mess with it. <laughs> Listen, at this point. I mean, I understand that Collier, you're old, and he's like, Collier. At this point, I'm saying like, I know what should happen, but they keep J.K. Rowling. She's fucking me over with this. <laughs> she first introduced the whole Ginny crush thing. I was like, well, that's not going anywhere. Then they did the whole Cho thing. I was like. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. He not was there. not in this movie, and I'm like, hey, I'm not uh, sure if they explain it in the. <laughs> they definitely explain it in the movie. I'm not sure if she explained it, but she, her mom, I'm not sure if her mom like took her out to school because that's the smart thing to do. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> shut down shut Hogwarts. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and then, but uh, if that's what's happening. Uh, I, it, I guess I could I could be okay with another ship for Harry. I I'm not. I wanted I'm, Harry Hermione. Wanted, so it didn't happen. I didn't say it didn't happen. I'm saying at this point I wanted Harry and Hermione. No. Harry Hermione. I'm not doing the ship thing. Let's <laughs> calm down here. Grange Otter. It'd be come on now. It'd be Pranger. She don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Pranger. Anyway. Pranger things. So they're like, here, there's uh you know, you remember this, the fucking um the bowl of memories. Yeah, I brought the pensive. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> you remember this? I don't. <laughs> you do, Harry. The and pensive. you know what? The pensive got a, a got a fucking facelift. Yeah, do you know why? Because they got budget. They got budget. <laughs> fucking flexing on. <laughs> like, Just oh. looking like freaking papyrus from Undertale with that freaking uh, right. muscles painted on his. So weird. He's like, cool. <laughs> I need you to look at the memory. This is when I first met the, uh, Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle. I want you to look at this memory. Cool. The they do it. They're going to an orphanage. Dumbledore. He's got a little. He's got a cut beard. He looks a little bit younger. Not that much younger, but a little bit younger. Yeah. Which you think? <laughs> now, now that I know when Voldemort was born. It's kind of weird because, like, man, he has to go to Jude Law to that very quickly now. Yeah. Because uh, apparently Voldemort, I think, was born like 1926. So eleven, uh, like eleven years after that, that'd be 1937. And this fantastic music place like in the 1920s. I was like, so he has to jump from that to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, see, this is why you don't do these. This is why you don't do prequels. <laughs> this is why you don't do this. Because now you're fucking, you're like, oh, you kind of don't look like him. But anyway, whatever. You don't fucked up. You don't fucked up. Well, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Remember Tom Riddle, he's a little kid, and, you know, things happen. Like, oh, hey, you make, he can make things happen. And, like, and guess what? So can I. Yeah. And, oh, look, show me. Just lights everything up. Sometimes you get out of your fucking cupboard. It's uh fuck you don't is he stole shit we don't yeah. do thievery at Hogwarts just, um, just let you know murder but. we're fine with we don't do thievery you know? <laughs> <laughs> just kids dying left and right yeah whatever <laughs> Mur- the th- no P- possession's nine tenths of the law Tom we don't do that here <laughs> yeah, I can talk to snakes too is that normal for someone like me and at that moment Dumbledore stuff is like no that's not gonna come back and bite me in the ass later <laughs> <laughs> put a pin in it. It's like, no. No, it's not. But whatever. Put a pin in it. So, yeah. Harry tossed the snakes. What was it? What, what was it? Uh, parcel tongue. Parcel tongue. Parcel tongue. Yeah, man. Man. But no, it is parcel tongue, not parcel tongue. Parcel tongue, you'd be able to talk to paper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you think that with the diary and everything, but whatever. Uh oh. Uh, then, uh, so he, uh, fucking, uh, he said. So, did you know that? But I know that I just met one of the darkest wizards of all time. No, <laughs> no. of course not. Well, Harry, what other question is that? Who would have known? And he said, "Sir, you said Professor Silkman tried to recruit me. Should I let him?" Yes. Yes. Yeah. Once again, he's like, "Oh, okay." So I thought you were on the same page. I mean, you still, you got to catch up now, Harry. <laughs> like, this is why, this, that's why I brought you there. Come on, man. It's like, it's like, but what does he mean by get, <coughs> just like be like on his, be like, on his good side. Like how um, he had the other class. Like, oh, it's collecting to make sure Harry is there so he can gain his trust so he can get that memory. Yeah. Because I mean, later on in the memory, you saw this corrupted. And it's like, yeah. yeah. That's later on in the video. So. Next. Is this Quidditch practice? Can we get the Quidditch practice? Uh, Here's the Quidditch practice. No. Uh, force field works against the Dark Wizards. Boy, it does work. Yeah, that's just, again, that's just, that's just a transition scene, though. It's I know, like, I know. Sure. Again, freaking flexing on with that freaking... They just keep using the budget. They, they, like, we got a visual <laughs> effect right now. Boom! Like, no, right, that works. And then, uh... Draco is wandering around the school. Oh, hey, yeah. look. It's the chest from the beginning part. Yeah. 
He puts an apple in it. He's in a room requirement. Yeah. Yeah. Room requir- Which is really fucked up that the room oh, was like, oh, you need this. It's like, um, do you know what this is for, Hogwarts? <laughs> like, why are you giving him this? Or whatever. It's in there. Digs it in, then uh, it opens it, disappears. All right, close it. Opens it again, comes back, and oh, hey, it's bit. I'm like, uh. It's not bit. Part of the apple's missing. Part of the apple's missing. It's not a bite mark. It is like part of it didn't come back. Huh. Because Draco's mission in there is to make sure that he can you he you can get it right to transfer, transfer living things living eventually things. in and out. Yeah, why he uses the birds as a test. Yeah, and literally a canary in a coal mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? It was weird. Like when we get to the next scene, it's literally I, I don't know if that's a symbolism or something, but it shows the two birds yeah. within a cage. That's within another cage. Mm-hmm. Like, why is there a cage within a cage? Because Draco feels caged. He doesn't want to do this. I kind of thought he, so. But he's like, he thinks he wants, it's like Zuko. He's like, my honor though. Everything that stake. It's like, I have to do this. But it's like, but this isn't who you are. But I have to do this. Which is also like one of the things. It's like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand what they're trying to go for here. But it's like, those stories have not set him up like this. Like, I haven't seen that many moments of, I mean, I don't think they're. Any really moments are like, this will be the worst character arc of redemption there, there is no redemption arc for you. I mean, no, no, redemption. There's not much here. A better, uh, what was, what was Zuko He was a bully who went to a criminal. It's like, I mean, yeah. He didn't show me any good parts of Draco. I mean, I don't think, I don't recall any good parts of the book either. But Worst character development parts. struggle arc. Uh-huh. But anywho, uh, let's see, uh, it's a chest. Okay, now Quidditch practice. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, fucking, so. Oh, yeah, this. Harry's apparently the captain of the team now. Yeah. They, I, I guess if or the things they would have straightened that out, but we just kind of skipped it over it. Yeah. Uh, and Jenny is the co-captain. Yeah. Oh, I think Jenny would have joined the team in Order of the Phoenix. And everyone, Ron's the only person paying attention, and he's just nervous. Everyone else is just fooling around. Harry trying to get people attention, not like exactly what they expect. Jenny, oh, I shot it, and then everyone stops. <laughs> and like, cool. Okay. So just because you were on the team last year doesn't mean you're guaranteed a spot. Everyone, let's go. All right. Right, and here same. comes fucking Cormac, whatever his name is. I forgot his name. Whatever. Don't know. Don't care. He's wrecking my shit. And he's trying to get at. He's trying to get at Hermione. He saw her in the shop. He's like, cool. I want a piece of that. I want to take that down to him. Down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want a hot sausage in that. Hey, want to play hot sausage? <laughs> I want to knock around my blood just to get Good lord. <laughs> Who's? Uh, <coughs> so Ron is struggling. Ron's trying to be a keeper he wants to be a keeper too like well I mean dude apparently he can hit fly he's I like my chances anyway so it either do to be a friend I might he's like fuck off and fucking um so they're playing the game uh fucking Ron's a keeper eh, very different styles this other guy agile graceful Mm-hmm. He's like he's got this down. He's like he watched the World Cup. He knows what he's doing. Ron yeah. is kind of bumbling everywhere. <laughs> like the sound effects don't help. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't. But I mean, listen. If your goal is to keep them from getting through the hole, he's doing it technically. Yeah, yeah. So it's coming. They're even. No one's scored anything. All right, cool. It's coming down to this. There's one more. Herm- Hermione fucking cheats for Ron. Uh, Confundus uh, and just this. and just stop to the side. <laughs> oh, there it is. Then Ron knocks the last one. Bam. There it is. Fucking Ron is the keeper. Fucking Cormac doesn't get it. Fucking doesn't take it too hard. And Hermione doesn't like this guy. He's vile, apparently. Don't know why she thinks that of all of them. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, like, he's vile. That's, Whoa. That's dude. pretty judgmental of you, that, Hermione, as you've not had a conversation with this person on the screen. So. Yeah, I'm like, wow, you don't know nothing about the guy. I mean, but you already he? think that he's an equivalent of a drop of snake venom. Is he? Yes, he is. Because I read the book. But in um, the movie, you don't know this. You don't know it. No. Because, you know, he's got that one thing on his mind. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> is that the what? The one thing on his mind. What's the one thing on his mind? It's one thing on every guy's mind. Having a sausage. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Fucking a bit of the friendly fire, you know. <laughs> That's Any a who's, friendly weapon. <laughs> Any who's uh freaking So Harry still has the uh the book and Hermione just She like, wants to like, see it. Like, like, hey, I want to see like here's no, the fragging, the the, 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 the spine on it is kind of fragile, yeah. so it'll fall apart. But then Jenny, Jenny gets a hold of it. <laughs> Who's half blood prince? Huh? This is it. This book is probably the half blood prince. I don't know, but if I know, yeah. 
And then that was it. Yeah, that was it. I'm like, cool. I'm glad we had that scene. And then it's tavern time. I think I think just to remind you that hey, half blood prince. That's remember all that was. Remember, just remember, remember, just remember that. Because it doesn't come up again. It is what the movie is called. This book still exists. Wait, he was asking about this the spell, Sectum Sempra. It's like, you don't yeah. Know this? No, I don't. I think you should turn that book in. Put a pin in it. Yeah, put that pin in it. I put a pin in that. Put that pin in it. I didn't write it in my notes. Like, no, <clears throat> that that was so out of the blue. Like, huh? Pay attention to that. <laughs> so they're about to. Go, they're just walking into town again. Once again, I don't know how Harry got this fruition slip slime, but he did. He's actually now that his guardian's dead. But whatever. So yeah. He just leaves the grounds whenever, especially with Death Eaters out. Whatever. Sure. You think they would say no? Students can't leave the grounds this year, right? Nah. 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 Fucking shut this place down. Nah. Fucking shut it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, sure it is. Well, could put a pin in that for ten minutes from now. Anyway, so oh, the way I do it, half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they see uh, Slughorn. He's going to the fucking uh, three broomsticks, or whatever. He sees a uh, uh, Flitwick. Yeah, sure. He's like, Did you, I thought you were gonna be in the room. I'm like, oh, uh, I can't be there. Apparently, people don't like horse. I can't imagine why. Yeah. So he's just going there. You want fancy butter beer? They're going, and then they're like, cool. Harry's trying to set the scene. He's like, all right. Okay. Okay. No, 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 you guys no, sit no, here. Sit here. Okay. All right, cool. cool. And, and he sees Draco for a bit. Like, yep, Draco oh, just goes in like, goes upstairs. All right, cool. And then they uh, get to talking. Horse comes, comes over. over. He invites him over to dinner. Dude, and I, I just want to say, like, whatever those kids were drinking. Butterbeer. Uh, huh? Butterbeer. Butterbeer. Yeah. That looks great. I'm on some of that. It literally looks like an orange smoothie. They orange cream shake. In the um, Universal Studios. Uh-huh. They're the Wizarding World. What? Is there bumble beer there? Is there, is there butter beer? beer? Butter beer, yeah. I've not been there to have it, but I do know they do have something called butter beer. Is it? Uh, uh, I don't know if it's alcoholic. I don't think it's alcoholic. I don't think it's alcoholic. Which it's is a shame. Cool. <laughs> I, no, th- theirs is alcoholic. Oh. You can drink younger in England. Oh. I think you can drink at, is it 18, 17? I don't know. In the Wizarding World, everything's lower too, so it doesn't matter. I because Hermione, when she leaves, she's want. drunk, remember? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Remember, she said, she, everyone else, she, I remember didn't she, she downs hers. I <laughs> didn't pick up on that. So she's like, <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. I just thought that she was just <laughs> my no. best friend. No, she's drunk. She's she's gone. Oh my! I, oh my god! Remember? She, because, I was like, why is she? I I, she, I she saw faster than her. That's why I was like, Ron, you, you've got the, you you've got. Like, she got the fool going on because she fool. just. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, yeah, okay, that, that's yeah, cute. No, no, Next scene, and then she's like, yeah, she's why drunk. is she extra happy? She's, she's drunk. That's why. Like she's as, she's acting drunk, but I don't think that was all. Oh, I I'm guessing she's just super beer. happy. It's and quite literally called butterbeer. But anyway, so oh my god, Hermione and um <laughs> Hermione and Harry get invited to dinner. He doesn't even remember <laughs> Weasley's name. Calls him Wallaby. <laughs> well, Wallsby or whatever. I, I say wallaby because I think of number four in my head every time I hear it. <laughs> I <appreciate> it too. <laughs> wallaby, uh, oh, wallaby oh, beetles. Wallaby beetles. Like the beetles. Yeah. So also, anyway, uh, yeah, Giggles there. Ginny is there. Oh, well, she's with Dean. There's snogging. Snog. <laughs> Which let me tell you. Oh, reading this it? book in 2005, I think it was. I was like. I don't know what snogging is. What is snogging? I had to Gideon, look that up. Snogging. Name? See it again. It's how I was like, S N O G G I N G. Snogging is kissing, so they're making out. Cool. Really confusing reading snogging. It was like, oh, this is why they changed sorcerers to philosopher. <laughs> I mean, philosopher to sorcerer because I'm dumb American. Don't get what this means. <laughs> but yeah, snogging is lingo. So, you know, kind of cultural difference there. And they also didn't Hermione say no. Ro- Hermione. Someone said something to someone else about, about like snog. Like, yeah. See, well, when you to leave, you saw a snogging, and then Ron, they got real quiet. That's why she started drinking. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. They're just, they're just smacking out in the court. Just, mm-hmm, just <laughs> like, uh, mm, boy, Ron. And they're just holding hands. Now they're snogging. Okay, cool. Well, like, she's her own woman. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Ron, as an older brother, looking for no. his little sister. No. Own woman. Huh? Own woman. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. This, this I'm an older brother, too. I don't, uh, listen. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, uh, like Own woman. For, for some odd reason, I thought that Asha was your twin. 
No. <laughs> anyway, it who's uh, so next they, they is... leave it, they leave it they leave it and then there there are two students in front of them Katie and what's her face I forgot her name and <laughs> but it doesn't matter Katie's the one that matters because you know why she has an item and it is fucking possessed and let me tell you oh if you yeah thought, if you thought you were having nightmares tonight you're absolutely correct because <laughs> see, she's I told her not to touch it and she's woof, 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 woof. and it's <sighs> It's like a scream, but it's not a scream. It's like a death wail. Yeah. And we're like, um... And, and, what? And, and, and let me tell you, if you thought you were confused in the movie, read the book, you're like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and here comes like, don't, t- no, don't, don't touch it. Hag picks her up. Into Hagrid. D- uh, don't grab it except by the uh, the cloth. Whatever. Uh, I don't know what it says. I, I didn't read Whatever it is, don't touch the thing directly. You understand? Yes. Me or when Guardian Leviosa? Alright, cool. Let's move. I didn't touch anything to guard this damn thing. After seeing that, fuck that noise. You know, you're gonna bury this out. <laughs> Fucking six feet under with this shit. Yeah. Alright, cool. And they take it. McGonagall has it. Like, uh, man, uh. Man, how come every so time when something happens, nothing, it's, it's the... always you through that? You know what? I'm sorry to murder that myself. Yeah, they were. Um... Thank you, Ron. They and were, then enter Snape. Oh no! Well, they she was questioning the other student that was with her first. And yeah, like, I, she had, she came back with it. She didn't leave. She didn't have it the entire time. Yeah, she came back from the loo with it. She had, she had to give it to Dumbledore. Just put a bit of that. Just a bit of that. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Cool. Yeah. So she was under the Imperius curse. That's right. From uh, Goblet. No. Yeah, Goblet of Fire. Oh, from Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Yeah, because it's uh, Mad Eye Moody. He's the one who introduced it. Yeah. See? So and fucking, this is why you shouldn't fucking teach these things. I mean, I'm pretty sure you already know it, as his father is a Death Eater. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't teach these things in class, though. <laughs> anyway. But I actually thought the Imperial Curse was just, like, you know, not necessarily, like, taking control of people. Like, you control them. Yeah, but I thought it was like, oh, just, I'm just gonna, like, move you as a body of, like, no, the no, Guardian because, of Leviosa. No, remember, because control. he says... What should I do now? He Throw says... Madame Mo, Mad- Mad- party question here, says that Millions, a uh, whole time people always claim to do the dark arts under the influence of the Imperius curse. So you can just give an order. Mm-hmm. You don't have to constantly control them. Yeah. If you can get that order, they have to go do it. Because I mean, pretty sure one person walking around, following people, make sure they did a shit. And like, <laughs> yeah. like I can just that's literally saying you can literally just go do that yourself. Then. Yeah. So but yeah. I thought I was like, oh, okay, uh, just I'm just gonna like you know put you over here on a cliff and then just release <coughs> and then you just fall. No. I just I mean, you can do that with any uh, levitation spell. So. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like. Well, isn't there like so, no Lugardia Leviosa literally control yeah yes. okay so, okay boy then, you know then you know, Snape walks in and he's like I think Katie's very lucky to be alive right now and then Harry starts bounding off it was Malfoy it was Malfoy he cursed her it was like oh, that's all and then we, we we had to talk earlier about him saying about like, him like being, right, being like, you just got omnipotent him. how great it is to be the chosen one whatever alright we skip on and then we move over and then uh Okay. Harry's looking at the map, and then they're talking about Jim. Yeah, they, he, he, Stop it! Okay. <laughs> Stop! Hypocrisy. Okay, Harry is just fucking watching. It's like, man, if he had just watched her a few more seconds, he would have seen that he... Malfoy just disappeared off the map. Where'd he go? From requirement. Yeah, yeah. Wait, he wasn't... Yeah. He, wasn't, he was just... He, I would avoid this conversation with you now, Rod, because this is very awkward. Yeah. Because then, Harry, then they start talking about Hermione, too. Like, ugh. He's like... He, he, I guess we're getting somewhere. Nice but, skin. Like, nice, nice skin. Like, what? I was a rock. I was like, I was nice. What's that mean, nice skin? If for some I'm just naming some winning attributes. You like, know what? That, that, everybody's got nice skin. Nice skin goes. It's just like, yeah, I guess. Dude, and, 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 that, and that, that, you know, it's that awkward moment where, and here's the thing. They're both of them just start thinking about Hermione naked. And they're like, I'm going to avoid this conversation with you now. Yep. Yes, I'm going to bed. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to end this right now. <laughs> And then, okay, at the moment we were just talking about like her skin, I was like, yeah, she's nice skin. It's like, um, I don't know why, but my brain just went straight to Doki Doki with Yuri. Like, I just want to cut your skin and just hop in. And I'm like, no. Why did your brain go? What is wrong with you? Dude, like I said, like, if you just be, just have my brain for five seconds. I don't want to after that. <laughs> anyway. So, yep, um, he's just fucking him. What? Uh, they moved to uh, the whole supper thing with Horace. Oh, yeah, they don't show him do it. I guess, yeah, Malfoy just going there to do more tests, and they don't show it, though, but he disappeared off the map. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally the next scene. Class supper is yeah. Harry, Hermione, they got Ron's the, not there, no, Horace is there. It, he's he's there. trying to form a, the slug club. Slug club. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to recruit the people for him to, like, put on his wall and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently they are not in 
person. He's talking to all of them, and it's like, yeah. Be and then, enter Kitty. Hermione's parents are dentists. Boy, let me tell you, that was... Like, Hermione, they're dentists. They just take care of people's teeth. Is, is it, it dangerous? Is it no, just say no. Leave on. Talk about something else, because this story is bombing. It's like, you knew it wasn't interesting when you started it off immediately. So, you're not going to lie. Just say it's true, and just keep going back to it. Try to bring something else up. In, in her Jenny, she's been crying. They've been fighting again. Her and who? Huh? Dean. Oh. Her oh. boyfriend. Oh, okay. And, and she walks to the table. Harry stands up. We're out. It is like, all right. Yeah, that, that was weird. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a proper manner thing to do, but it's yeah. like really awkward when you're the only person to do it. Yeah. And her mind's looking at it. It's like, okay. And they, like, uh, they sit down. And then... Uh, hourglass. Hourglass. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. The hourglass looks pretty cool. Okay. Fucking slick. They fuck it up. He... Pick everyone else. Harry's still there because he's trying to get, rec- he's trying to let him uh, let him get them. collected. Yeah, so he's like, I'm, I'm already an hourglass. Oh yeah, it's like it slows down when the conversation gets interesting. And if it doesn't, he's like, and he saw something slow down. It's like, okay, I'll leave. It was like, oh no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. You're a little classmate still. So. <laughs> <laughs> you've already achieved, Harry. You've already achieved greatness. You're going on that wall regardless. So <laughs> you're fine. Dude, you're just going on a wall ever and since then, you survived that bolt and from he, Voldemort. And then he asked something about Voldemort. Like, did Voldemort make oh, yeah. the wall something or whatever? And he's like, what, he's like, you were his teacher, right? He's like, well, he had a great many teachers. I'm like, yeah, but you was your favorite. It's like, cool. Harry, not very good at the art of conversation. No, he is not. No, he, he is not. He can afford to watch some Game of Thrones and learn from that. <laughs> that's good. That's, he goes, boy, let me tell you, he's making all the wrong moves. He's he very, should be, he's uh, very direct with it. He's not subtle. He's yeah, like, very I, direct. I, I understand. He's like, I'm short on time. I don't got time for this. But also, it's like, you're not going to get the answers you need with this. Yeah. Anywho, uh, after that, we have, uh, I'm guessing, okay, a quick match is about to start soon, but Harry puts, <coughs> oh yeah, Ron's Ron, not having it. Ron's, uh, he's, he, not, he's he, nervous. Yeah, he's nervous as this. Yeah, shit, fuck. Okay, I'm about, he said I'm about to fuck up. He's like, I'm going to quit after this one. <coughs> fucking, um. Are you not, Ron? Here you go. Toast. Good luck to you. He did, uh, fucking, uh, juice? Yeah, sure. And they literally like, what? It's like, where'd you finish this drink? And, her, uh, and, and Hermione sees it. He's like, what? No, they all see it. He's like, Ron's like, no, what? He's my boy. Let's do it. He, Hermione tells him not to, and he's like, I'm going to do it anyway. You cook. We got to match Let's you with. Let's go. Did you and think he did it? Did you actually think he did it? Huh? Did you, did you think he gave him the liquid luck? No, it, it was too easy. I mean, listen, it Ron was, was kicking ass that game, though. I know. And it was in a very non-Ron-like fashion. So I, like, in the book, it was, I was like, did he do it? He's like, man, I, was like, no, I wouldn't have used it on that. But it's like, I was like, no, what? I think Ron, I think Harry learned a secret spell from that book and cast it into the water. No, it was, that was, it was like, just, it's just a mind thing. Like, yeah, it, like, it, it uh, was literally the mind It's thing. like a fucking uh, space jail. The special the, it's just water. It's just water. It's just water. But you think it's special, and you think you're gonna make it special, so you feel special, so you just do better. It's like it's the whole, it's a mind, mind trick thing, mind game. Everyone's mm. cheering. Every, it's, he let's is tell kicking you. ass. Let me tell you, uh, people, this was very, very much more intense uh, game than most, and that's saying a lot for Quidditch because they were falling left and right in this. Yeah, one. they were. They are. It's like fucking pot. This is not pot racing, but it's like actual fire jets at the rim. Yeah. Some guy just fucking face flinched. Boom, boom. I was like. <laughs> like his neck is broken he was going really fast and then just stopped <laughs> <laughs> and also like fucking Slytherin just bumped into it they, they are not doing well this year Draco should have still been on the team he would have looked in shape I mean, he, had bigger, <laughs> yeah. he had bigger fish to fry so anyway and uh, the effects on this one that's okay with the rest of the movie but yeah like you said before it's just for oh we need to put Ron I, in I would it. think that they're better than the other Quidditch it games. was better than the other the Quidditch games the first two yeah. ones I mean not, maybe not I'm fucking I um, mean not that the whole <laughs> nah nah that, it's definitely better than that one Way better. I would say better than that. Uh, but, uh, you know, but whatever. Fucking, um... And then, uh... Okay, Ron is... Uh, okay, what, fucking, I, what I got here? Ron... Won, it is on and Ron won. And, ha! He never put the lick, lick in. And then, dot, dot, dot... No! My ship! Yeah. Fucking Lavender Brown lost up, which I... Get your lips off of him! Oh, no. Dude, it's going all over. And Ron, he's liking it, too. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm fucking champion right now. Champion. Uh... <laughs> Hermione not having not it. having it. I'm like no, Hermione. Oh, because they're I'm talking right about right they're talking about the Christmas party and the, that she was going to invite him. Yeah, that's right. But then apparently it's like, oh well, I guess that's not happening. 
and you know they go, uh, they, they go away, they go downstairs, her, her, and things are getting. Because her, you know she left, so you yeah, like, and then yeah. things are getting really touchy, really sensitive. She and said, then, "How did so? How does it, it feel? feel when you see Ginny with Dean? I know you like her, I'm your best friend." And then, uh, then like, Ron mm, and uh, Lavender, Ron and Lavender's like, which I'm so glad they did. I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of sad they didn't say her entire name. They didn't say any of her name, but I'm glad they say Lavender Brown. Yeah, because that's a dumb name. It's color color. It is. I know, and I thought Lavender Brown is a really weird name for you to go with. I mean, JK, you've been better with your naming so far, and this is like this is probably like you know this is low this is low tier. This low, is th- low tier. <laughs> this is low probably tier like the lowest five. You could have thought a long long about this character's name, but I guess she's just here to service this will they won't they thing. It's like at this point, it's like should I get off the pot? And also like her, 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 didn't we do this for the last? Did we do this in Goblet of Fire? Didn't we? Yeah. And then oh, we did this in order to feed it. <laughs> also, I, I wanted to say, I, I noticed something. I don't know if it was just my TV, but during the whole Quidditch practice point, when she was first, well, my first real noticing thing of, like, her rooting for Ron, like, why is her face so bright yet pale from the rest of her body? Who? Lavender? Lavender. Compared to Hermione, like, oh, her hands are like this. Like, her hands is this, but her face is like that. I'm like, no. Nah. And then just for the rest of the uh, the the scenes with her, everything's fine. Like that, that was weird. That was really really who knows, weird. Who knows? Maybe it's cold outside. It's like they Captain America and her face on uh, another <laughs> actress's body. All right, calm down. Maybe the, <laughs> maybe the, maybe like the previous black actress who was wearing <laughs> I out. don't know. <laughs> anyway, so oops. oh yeah, she got birds. Uh, Hermione oh, she, had birds. Yeah, she, she was doing charms. Yeah. She was practicing her charms. It's like yeah, they're really good. And then she David running Ron, and then Raider's like kind of feels like that. And he just gave, he just raised her a shoulder to cry on. Which I really thought was a real thing because it's like this and not that. But I was like, okay, cool. I guess that's a thing too because she wraps her arms up around it. It's like, oh, yeah. that still works. Yeah, then Ron and Lavender, they come in and, and like, oh, room's they taken. Sit, they start going, yeah, but that's when she starts crying after they already left because she's seen the birds. I'm like, bah, bah, bah. yeah, she literally tried to kill him with the birds. Yeah. And then they're going up the stairs and then it's like, oh, they're snogging. Wait, Smigger? Smoggle? Smogging. Smogging. Ron's trying to get his fucking. Fuck off. <laughs> so the Kind to. And then they just cut to Draco. It's like, it's like, the little happy scene. All right, cool. Here's this moody teenager. Draco, Draco, Draco. All right, and and then, then now they're in the library. No. Oh, no, okay. no, no. Okay, Draco no, no, no. practices again. He practices with the bird this time. And the bird died. The bird's dead as dicks. Yeah. I'm like, Canary in the coal mine. All righty. Got still, one bird left. Still not working. Still ain't working. Listen, the room requirement will give him another one if he needs it. And then a uh, fucking um, they go in the library in library, yeah. Hermione and Harry are in their library. They're now. Ron first. Their time, him and Harry were talking about the relationship in the hallway. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. There is is in the hallway. It's in the library. It doesn't really matter. It's just like they're talking about it. Yeah, yeah. tell him about uh, who like, what's he trying to do with the, uh, Hermione. Yeah, I mean they, with the with got, Christmas party. Wait, is it Christmas party? Yeah, it, Christmas. it's just a party. It's Christmas party. Okay, Christmas party. Yeah, and uh. <laughs> They're talking like, uh, and then Hermione's like, "Hey, uh, this girl." Yeah, she needs you to. Cho- he's uh, trying to get love one because she didn't get chosen one. Oh, yeah, I am the chosen one. Smack. All right. That was the right, part. Of just like the funniest part in the entire movie. I loved it. Just, yeah, it was great. It's like, I am the his self confidence. Like, that she smacks because he's like, like so interested in me. Think fucking almost like was like well I'm Harry, I'm you shit. just saw that she was interested in you. Just ask her to the party then. Right? Yeah. Is that so? Is that so weird to think? I mean, fucking, uh, Ron, I mean, like, Hermione he goes to someone she doesn't like. Harry's like, oh, I thought we could have went to Gary's friends. She's like, why didn't I think of that? It's like, I don't know, that's a very good reason. Why didn't you think? That's a very good question. Why didn't you think of that? Right. Yeah, as smart as you, Hermione, I mean, come on. Come on, girl. It was clearly, come on, smart. girl. It's clearly the smarter option here. But then, Harry goes with Luna instead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Hermione's got Hermione in it. Harry says, Harry says he will go with someone cool. Bring Enter sleep. Luna. I'm cool with this because she's cool. He's like, I never been inspired to prop the castle. At least not in my. Uh, oh wait, I see. Least, you see, that's why so I wear shoes in bed. I'm like, you know what? I, like, oh, I don't ever care about sleep on here. Sure. Just cool the way you are. Don't ever change. There's the fucking uh, party. Neville's there. Oh, he was actually at that first dinner party too for some reason. Wait, that's right, Neville. His eye and herbology or whatever. Yeah. But he didn't make to the slut club, so he just serving our uh, drinks. And then and the other guy out there who's boring him and it just uh, hand up towels in the blue. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm skipping some. Yes, yeah, he Harry sees her money trying to run off. He Harry wants to know what's going on. He, she's trying to escape her date. He has texted. <laughs> he's 
he's just trying to mack it all night. Just can't keep his arms off. You no, know it's he's literally like, just away. like what's his face from the Goblet of Fire. The Victor dude, Crumb. Yeah, very physical. Very physical. On one thing on his mind, you know what that is. Anyway, so <laughs> some guy was offering him some dragons or whatever, and he's like, "Well, because they say day night, get back, back." I'm like, "I no, say that, get <laughs> <him out." laughs> keep him at bay." <laughs> Oh God! Here he comes. She goes out. He comes in. Like what? Uh, what's Have you seen? Like, oh, I think she, she went to just go pat her, her, her nose. Slippery little mix your friend is. I was like, all right, you can all right, dude. My friend like, all right, I'm dude. I'm about to dick you in your snot. You know what? Here he's like, I'm like, he's like, where are these? And he's like, he just offers us like, like talk to Eno. I was like, what are these? Dragon balls. <laughs> Dragon ball. <laughs> then Snape comes over. Then got Emu throws some on him. Shows. And Harry's like, this gonna work out in my revenge any better. <laughs> <laughs> You just bought yourself a, a month, month of, of detention. detention. Not, not so, so bad, quick, Potter. He tried to sneak it out? Nope. He didn't even... Man, didn't, I loved no, him so much. He didn't, didn't even look. And no, <coughs> Potter was nowhere near his... As Snake went in, Potter went out. Yeah, but he, so he, he saw him do it. He, that's where he was going. He, and then he's like, oh, he tried to say, nope. It did. Not it's so like, fast, Potter. Where do you think you're going? It's like my day is going. He came back here about two, two more minutes. I just here to tell you that Dumbledore sends his well wishes. He went away for the holidays. He's traveling. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Not. The they the just got that. rid of their uh their fucking uh what what do they call it the tank or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of weird for them to get rid of. I mean, Dumbledore to go traveling during the holidays to uh fucking. Uh, but you know, we know later why he does it. But like during the dark time, really, you're gonna do this, Dumbledore. Then fucking uh Drake gets Draco gets caught. Uh, that's sneaking right. around good lord Draco more screen time but that's words barely says anything he's got more screen time in, like, in the crashing. previous movies of him just uh, uh he's a, he's, he said quite a few words he had an entire conversation on the train like, like, well, much more than he had in the last film yeah exactly that, that's what I'm trying to get at he's got more screen time than the last film but, but he has more words in the last film too well, yeah. so far uh, up, so up far. to this point so far, uh, sir, in, the, in the train scene, he had more, <laughs> more than he had in the last one. Okay. And, oh. Uh, okay, at this point, when I paused to take this note, I said, I'm only halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You, that means you're only halfway done with this video, guys. Uh, so, I put down... <laughs> an hour left. So, uh, it's halfway there, it's an hour left. Jelani. <clears throat> Jelani, take the wheel. I need to properly enjoy this movie. So whatever you have, the rest of, I, I stop taking notes. Oh, you like I stop, I'm like, I need to sit and watch but, 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 and, and thoroughly you, enjoy I this movie. I told you how to do this. You watch it first time for enjoyment, then you watch second time for notes. I don't. You have, did it both at the same I time. Don't this this have is on you. Time for this that. is on you. You do have time for that. You're playing Spider Man. I no, I. <laughs> I would play Spider-Man the night before, and uh -huh. then like, okay, you know what? So you, this you night, had, so you did have time, but you you played Spider-Man instead. No, no. You, listen, you, oh, I played. So you did have time. Wednesday night, I played Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Thursday night, I watched the movie. Friday okay. night, I came here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Instead of playing Spider-Man on Wednesday night, you could have watched the movie, then play Spider-Man after. Then the next day, watch it to take notes. So you did have time to, but you chose to do something else. <laughs> Don't give me that bullshit. I didn't have time to. You had time. <laughs> You had an entire week to watch a damn movie twice. Oh, yeah. As yeah. I have watched twice. What's oh, that? so the apple in the chest was actually after the party scene, not way before. Yeah, see, I thought that was weird. You said that. I was like, I guess so. I don't know. Because we see him walk into the room, but he yeah. doesn't do anything. And, but he, then he, I think he just, yeah. like, practices, just so, like the, the yeah. spell itself. Okay, yeah. And then he did, Okay, cool. I was like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know it was that quick. I was like, okay, I guess so. <laughs> at this point, I was like, no, maybe I can. And then, like, no, I'm just done. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. So, and anyway. that, that's when I thought that the apple was big. Like, did. Did he send the <coughs> apple to Voldemort and bite it and send it back? Like, hey, it works. Good job, my boy. No, it was. It, it, it was the part of it was missing. It's not ready yet. So fucking Snape takes him out of the party, and Harry somehow gets ahead of them. But listening in on our conversation. Yeah, that's weird. right. That's what happens. Kind of weird. He's like, I'm chosen. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's like, well, you listen. I'm. Here. I can help you. He's like, no, I, I have to do this. Helping. I need the one of you to do this. I have to do this. I he's like he's like you, you were he's fact. like you were sloppy with your um, fucking curse of you. like it's like it, I need I have to help you because I made a ring of hell but you're making this harder on me than it needs to be Draco. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so fucking where do we go to next? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your notes. Well, I, I listen. 
right, right here. All right. Oh, yeah, they're going away for the holidays because Ron is talking to him about fucking the Unbreakable Vow. Listen, it's been an hour. A lot talking. Well, actually, it's not been... Uh, that one's been a little longer. It's been... Uh, they're talking about... Well, that's when they say, what happens when you bring Unbreakable Vow? You die. There it is. Yeah, yeah. there it is. How hard was that? Drop the fire. Looking at you, Governor. You, 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 you die. That's it. That's all you have to say. Anyway, so they're going to the holidays, and here's... Uh, they're, or the Phoenix is a little bit meeting. The meet, they're a little, a little bit smaller than last time. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's not because people are well. Some people might be dead, but some it's like they can get some all everyone back for that. I think they said they also had an agent to. Yeah, he did say he like. Oh yeah, I had an agent go down to like the uh, place where you said that the cupboard was. Oh yeah, it's a uh, something. I forgot what the fuck vanishing cupboard. Yeah, uh, it asked Mister Weasley, but we're going. Rem- we're going. We're going Doctor Remus first. Oh yeah, Doctor Remus. Remus and uh, um, Nifedor Tonks. Uh, dyed her hair. She's black hair now. And yeah. Not much else going on with her. Uh, I almost almost and, didn't and recognize her. Remus is saying like your hair is buttoned by hatred that he wants Draco to be guilty of it. Or wants Snape to be a death eater too. It's like you're just blind our hatred. Like, no, I'm not. It's like I literally heard this conversation. It's like, no, you're just like because it's around the time he's about to start transforming, so he's getting a little bit moodier. Yeah. He said that's why they won't stay tonight. It's like the worst night's always the worst. So you gotta definitely get him out of here. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think it's dangerous for anywhere to be around at the time where they know a full moon's coming up. I don't care what time it is. You need to not be around me and my family. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's time to go. Fucking, um... So they had the meeting. He went to go talk to Mr. Weasley outside in the shed, and then they came back inside, right? Yeah, and then it had the about, weird about the, angle uh, in, about in the, the cornfield. No, not... Wait, wait, hold on. They, uh... For, oh, yeah, they did have... They, they yeah. did, uh, I'm like, all right, something's about to pop off. Wait, no, because we had the Ginny scene. She gave him the little cake. And remember, she came. And oh she, yeah, like she sat in the room right next to Harry, and then her dad clearly left the room. It's like, all right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. And you wanna like, cake? Open up, like, you, open up, open up, you. Like, don't you trust this me? Is, this is this is like, I was like, I was like, so I'm saying, I was like, so Jean, are you still? I mean, are you still going out with Dean at this point, or what's happening here? No, I think she's done. I, I think, I think, I think she's done it, but they don't say that. No, they don't. It's nope. a really good background thing. Like, don't don't you trust me? Like, thing. uh. That's cool. And he takes a bite. I mean, like, they, I saw the love potion be introduced twice at this point. No. No. <laughs> but he was like, I'll take the bite anyway. It's good. And then here comes Ron. So just like, uh, just excuse middle, me. In the middle. But just the biggest plate. <laughs> you could probably muster. Hey, you Hi. want some too? No, I'm good. You? All right, cool. All right, cool. I'm well, going to sit here awkwardly and eat these rest of you. Well, I'm just going to, you know, accomplish my mission here. And yeah. you two just... Yeah. So then, does he go talk to Mr. Weasley outside? I think that's when he goes talk to Mr. Weasley outside. Yeah, yeah. They come back inside, and then, she, and then they had like they had a, on the stairs. I'm like, uh, Ron, I, I don't know if I, I don't Ron know go, if I'm approving of this Ron shit. Did go to bed yet? And I was like, is this where it turns? Uh oh. Is this where it turns? Like, yeah, I was like, hey, I was like, hey, 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 hey. I was like, oh my god, this is, hap- this is happening right now, guys, it, guys, it's happening. <laughs> It's happening. Like, no, don't, don't do it, because I don't know if I approve of you yet. She says, she like, says, does this just to get close to him. I was like, that's an like, odd move. That is an but odd I, move. It did work for her. And it is like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And it's about to happen. It's and then they hear, then, boom, outside. And that's the Death Eaters, they're attacking. Boy, and they are boy. attacking. They're attacking. The, they're, they're essentially attacking, they're attacking the Order attacking of the Phoenix. Attacks. That's, what they're, that's why they're there. That's the only reason they're there, because they're attacking the Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. And then, fucking, they... Fucking flames fire all around, and, and then Bill Strange shows up. Harry's outside, he's like, and I'm he like, starts oh, running off. Here, here and Harry said, "Oh, it's on." He f- <laughs> turned it locked. I killed Sirius Black. Ah, they were just going by. They have to fight the flames, but Ginny can get through, but no one else. So like, the power of love, man. The power of love is strong. The power of boners are stronger. The power of lady boners is stronger. I went to like three different jokes there. We finally got it. Finally got it. Anyway, so Harry's trying to chase her down. He can't find her. The cornfield, the wheat field, whatever this fucking field is. I'm like, oh big. boy, this is just like a... Uh... Ginny's out there too, but she's, she got separated. She thinks she's here, Harry. No, she doesn't hear Harry. She hears fucking Finnier Grave back there. And he is like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Harry comes back super fine. He just... Ah! <laughs> just <laughs> like, get in your fucking bag in it, man. And Dude, just... isn't... Uh, <laughs> Voldemort did that too. <laughs> no, he ain't gonna do that. He smacked him on his hand. Like, ah! ah! Get that wheat out of here, man! In my house. <laughs> Anyway, so they're having a battle back and forth. They're like, Simplify! 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 They're just black. They, like, they can't see where anyone is. They're like, this is this very weird plot that is open. <laughs> just, also, a, just a giant circle. 
in this wheat field. And I was just like they screaming. Just... Well, not really screaming, but I was like internally screaming at the TV. Stand back to back. You have a they greater field of back. no. There was like set this up because like this is like mm, mm. they were saying back to back. It doesn't work. And it went. If they were, it was for like a split second. And also, back to back doesn't work when there's 360 degrees. That's like that's no because they both had like equal one. No, not both of them. Harry does not as he wears glasses. <laughs> So he has some of it, but they're like there are parts of it that are blocked off from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, that yeah, yeah. peripheral blurred to death. Yeah, <laughs> he's not seeing it. But, anyway, but listen, got, listen, it doesn't matter. He got his back though. But yeah, that feels attacking. Then here comes fucking. Every, we see. Re- no, we. Well, I mean, uh, the, the dad. Oh, the dad was out there. The dad. The dad is in uh, uh, Chelsea. I'll make it out there. They start. So I'm blasting ge- out I'm, there. They don't see where he was. And today. also, I'm guessing if you hold your wand like this. You automatically block some spells that's also incoming. I'm pretty sure, but I, that might have been a lesson somewhere. But yeah, we probably, probably skipped over it. No, it's probably like you know somewhere. Yeah, you said skipped over it in the defense of the dark arts class. At some point, we should have seen it, but we didn't see it. Whatever. He's like, oh, I've turned my wand in defense mode and in my turn. Yeah, all right, calm down, you. <laughs> so the Debbie's like, all right, cool. This isn't working out. Let's go fucking blow up their house. Cool. Which my question is, why did you do that in the first place? Because they need Potter alive for the Dark Lord. Yeah, okay, but once Harry's out the room, I'm mean, out the house, it's like, cool, let's just fucking do it. Like, who cares? You want to kill these people anyway. He tormented. He needs to suffer. Which would be much more suffering if his best friend died in that house, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but luckily, they gave everyone a right amount of time to get out the house yeah. just for them to blow it up. Because, like, didn't it blow up and then uh, Mr. Weasley, he said, what did he say? He said her. Molly? Kenny? I think he said Molly. Because he, his wife is, he thought his wife was still in there. Okay. Okay, okay. And he's fucking back there too. Everyone's running back. Everyone's luckily outside. Fred and George are there. Ron's still there in his dumb pajamas. And <laughs> I could have swore he said Hermione. And I'm like, okay, where's Hermione? Where's Hermione? Hermione? Wasn't there. She went home. Where's Hermione? Where's her? I didn't see Hermione <coughs> in the seat, and I was freaking the fuck out. She was on the train with him. So she, yeah. she went home earlier. Yeah, so. Next. So then back to fucking. Uh, Do we go back to Hogwarts? Yeah, we go back to Hogwarts. I want to say we see the dream. I mean, not the dream, the memory. But it's a fake memory. But I'm not... It, it, it was tainted. Yeah, the tainted memory. No, well, it was corrupt. It, it was corrupt. corrupt. It, 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 it's, 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 it's a memory, but it was also a lie. It, yeah, it's a lie. I think so. Does that, that sounds right, right? Right. We're, yeah. we're saying that anyway. Because, yeah, it, it, it's... Because that's not, that's not how it went out anyways. Like, hey, do you know about the... No, I mean like... I mean like the... From point to point. Whatever. Wait so, a minute. I could have swore. But you didn't take notes? Okay, no, yeah, I was dumb. But for some reason, I could have swore that uh, I pointed out the memory. Oh, no, that was earlier. The memory of uh, Tom Riddle. That was earlier. The first time. Oh, I the got first it, like, one we had. Yeah, the first one. Also, but this one was, uh, what's his face? There are a lot, in the book, memory. In the book, there were a lot more memories, but they had cut them down to a few. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good oh, time. also, I want to get to this because we don't really come back to this kid. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Hero finds Hero Tiffin was cast to play Tom Riddle, age 11, while his uncle, Ralph Fiennes, plays Lord Voldemort, formerly Tom Riddle. His parents are Martha Fiennes, Ralph's sister, and George Tiffin. Director David Yates, I don't know why that's in the fact, but we're just saying it anyway. I'm fucking director David Yates says that he hired Hero <laughs> because it was resemblance to his uncle, but not specifically because he was the actor's nephew. He liked the he liked the, the dark haunted quality about the younger actor, the darker the, the dark, dark you know because he looks like the kid from the fucking Omen. <laughs> yeah, I. But the only reason I have this in here because his name is fucking Hero Finds, and that is fucking badass. Hero Finds. <laughs> Hero Finds. Well, Hero Finds Tiffin, but we could ignore the Tiffin part. Hero Finds. Hero Finds. Yeah. yeah, like this kid just I saw the kid like there was something. I should have brought this up earlier. Yeah, ominous yeah. about this kid. I feel threatened by his presence in this movie. <laughs> yes. Like, yes, wow, that's that's little I, boy I, Tom Riddle. Did I know. No, that's I'm little sorry. Voldemort. Yeah. Good lord. Should have burned him right then and there. Should have burned him. No, Freaking Africa Down. I, I didn't know. It's like, how did you not know? <laughs> I mean, like. The, the child of Satan is staring you in the face. How did you not know? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so fucking, um. Fake memory, blah, blah, blah. Get on his good side and get the real memory. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. 
He tries. Feels miserably, and he he again, literally takes the same exact steps that like Tom Riddle like, did in like, the other memory. It doesn't work, Harry, if you don't know what it's called. You're missing vital studies. Like I heard about this really dark magic. What was it called? I don't know. I forget. Remember his name? It's like you're. Come on, man. This is what dude. Go put it. It's just, and he's so, like, he's like, like well, Voldemort said, like, don't say that. I'm not afraid to say his name. But, um, yeah, so, fucking... At one point, we see him try with the... Draco try with the birds, though. The what? The birds. The oh, hood. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. he tries with the birds, so, uh... I think it's, like, one point with him and Ron are walking down the hallway just talking about how he can't... How Lavender is annoying, annoying him now. Yeah! Oh, yeah, because he had that scene on the train, then... Oh, you do see her on the train. She's about to go in there, sees that... Sees that, and he just thing, walks just, off. Meh. Yeah. That's what Dude, he, yeah, he was obnoxious. He's and then she made something for him, and then she was on the his back. When she came back, dude, like that's his. Yeah, she made a party. He's like, yeah, of course I'll wear it. That's all right. Okay, we're filling in things now. Not really important things, but things. Like, the, yeah. There's a lot of filler in this. It was like, but in the movie, like I, I like you just skip stuff. I was like, I look at the important it's stuff here. Boop. So anyway, we're going. We're going to get in front of the ring. So yeah, he tries that, fails. All right, cool. Uh, fucking uh, so love. He goes back to his room and uh, fucking. Guess what? Ron had eaten all his chocolates. They're talking on his bed. Ron's like, well, I hope I can tell all of these. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to have one. You have the entire box. Wait, all, wait, all of Harry's chocolates? Yeah, they're talking on the bed for Harry. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what Remember, that's what Ron's going to get the love potion in him. Yeah. From the girl who was trying to give it to Harry earlier. Yeah. Yeah, so that happened. And then uh, Ron's infatuated with this girl. He doesn't even know her name. He's like, he, thought, he was talking about Lavender. He's like, what are you talking what about? about? He's like, what? what uh, who are you talking about? Yeah, I, I was, I was so confused. Like, what? And then he says her name. I forget her name. It's because she doesn't have any speaking lines in the movie, so not very that yeah. important. But whatever. Well, no, she has one speaking line later nope. on. Yes. Yeah. Whoever goes up to her. Does he? Yeah. What do you say? I think he asks her. I think he asks her to the, uh, whatchamacallit, but I think she turns him down. No. I don't know. It's filler. Doesn't matter. No, he doesn't. He, That's the person, the person in the library who's trying to Oh, get no, 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 no. He talked to what's her face about, about Katie after she got. About how she got cursed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got never, mind, never mind. Never mind. Okay. okay. Anyway. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Indeed. I was like, um, no, that never happened. Girl. They have it in the book. I was like, anyway. So. So. You're like, all right, cool. Uh, I need to take you to the tour. My way to get back in. Harry, now thinking smart. It's like, uh, yeah, he got love potion, so you need to help him out. A very strong. Look, I could too. Indeed. Look, you were of. You were good at this. You could have been like, well, I think to cause more. Per- uh, practice hands and he Ron he's out of he's like you're right cool so what do you, you do you just gotta make something to depress them essentially that's essentially it the opposite of love is depression <laughs> yeah <laughs> you gotta bring them down it's like what happened it's like love was a strong one you need something to pick up spirits let's get some alcohol the cause and solve of our <laughs> of all our problems in life <laughs> yeah and no, I was saving this for a special occasion but yeah. now it seems like the right time. Yeah, he doesn't. They're about right. to cheers, cool. but Ron's already started drinking it, and then he just and he then just, he ah. just is like he's convulsive. He's like, "This is not good." Horace freaks out. He doesn't know what to do. Harry acts smart, very quick. Gets something from the cap. He goes with him. It's like a little. I don't know, sponge Ron, breathe. Ron breathe. Ron breathe. And it's like Ron is dead. Look, he stopped yeah, he, moving. He stopped moving. His eyes are like. And then, I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> I think I, I I think Ron just died. Yeah. Ron is very close to that light. Uh-huh. Boy, boy, what, what movie that would have been if Ron had just died there? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. When shut the series, they were trying to get to it. <coughs> get to the fucking um, Dumbledore. Yeah. Wait, what? Remember, Horace was. They asked Horace um, what that was for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's for Dumbledore. Yeah. It was to get for Dumbledore. Yeah. Like, huh. That's two times now. Which. Put a pin in it. I don't think he was under includes. In the Imperial Scrolls, I think that it was just poison. I think Draco just poisoned it because yeah. he knew it was for Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. So he just like he's just gonna wait that one out. Yeah. Which Snape just called him. Oh, another one. It's like did some really weak attempts, Draco. Oh, Dumbledore comes out that later. That's why. Never mind. Wait, Dumbledore what? Calls Draco on his attempts on his life earlier. It's like these are some really weak attempts. You, this is not in your heart. Yeah. Like, Dumbledore can see his, yeah. But anyway, we'll get back anyway, to that. We'll, later. We'll get later. So yeah, they're in the hospital. Ron's unconscious, but he's alive. Yeah, yeah. Hermione and Ginny in there, and uh, 
Harry walks in, and then they're all like, wondering what that's what they're discussing. How it's gonna get there? What it's for? And then here comes Lavender. Okay, now here's the thing, right? Very personal moment, right? Something that should be okay. So you got kind of like you got Jenny, uh huh. Okay, the the sister. She she need to be there, uh huh. Hermione, Uh best friend, best friend. Okay, Okay. then uh, Harry. Harry. Okay, cool. Other best friend. Cool. Dumbledore. Of course, because he's the no, headmaster. No, doesn't need to be there anymore. Headmaster. After the personal moment, the personal moment starts. It's time for you to excuse yourself from the room. You got Dumbledore, McGonagall, Horace, and Snape. Snape. Four unnecessary people before the scene. They could have left the room at any point. <laughs> well, <laughs> when this was going on, they didn't. Have, they stood around and watched. They, it, they had nothing. <laughs> they were like, oh, when, oh, when Lavender when, came in. Yeah, that was like Lavender came in. Okay. Oh. Now it's time to leave. Oh, oh, okay. That's that's what you're getting. At. All right, cool. Yeah, he, fucking Harry didn't need to be there right either. Like, like who are you? That's his best friend. I understand why he's there. That's his yeah. boy. Yeah, he's just watching out for him. And you're like, I have to be his girlfriend. I have to be his friend. Friend. Who's a girl? And then what settles it? Ron says Hermione in his sleep. And then mm-hmm. Lavender storms out. And then Hermione's Hermione. there holding his holding his hand. And then Jenny is like, sure, whatever. Then they say, oh, to feel be young and feel love stay. It's like, what? That's a di- kind of addicting for you to say, double Yeah. <laughs> And then, it, then they it, leave. And then it leaves. Like, I think Harry's like, it's about time. And her, her mind's like, shut up. And she's, you know, just holding his hand. And I'm like, my ship, my ship, my ship. Getting repaired. Yep. Getting reinforced. Yes. Then, you go, Hermione. I'm just going to put this here because Draco tries to bird. We already did it. But yeah, Draco tried to bird. Didn't work. Whatever. I don't remember this. Then yeah. we cut to the next, the next, uh, the Great Hall scene. The Great Hall? Yeah, when they're all eating. Oh, the- and then Ron doesn't remember anything. Yeah, and, and it's like Lavender is not having it oh, either. Weird thing, because right. Lavender Gryffindor, she's not sitting with Gryffindor, huh? Just so they can have that scene because they have to just show that she's upset, which we already know she's upset. Oh yeah, but we have to show her a little bit more because she they actually got to get her screen time. And then like they all like is something wrong with Lavender? Or she's just absolutely lit. They, 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 they all turn around so obvious. Like, like, come on, can you make you it more know, obvious? You know, like the look don't look thing. It's like, yeah, I like, think it looks up. They all like, just the head, like, don't, like mm. at the same. Mm. But she's over there sitting with the table that's not hers. I guess that's that she. But that's not how it works. Whatever. Anyway, so fucking. But she doesn't remember. He doesn't remember. He's like, I think. Nah, that couldn't be it. I was like, okay, cool. We're doing this again. Still, we're still the will they won't they. With her, Harry, uh, Ron and Hermione. Oh right, right, right. Because they're not together again. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It is like. Shit. And I swear, like, Hermione was just, like, kind of, oh, you know, uh... Ask him out. Things happen. They he's whatnot. dumb. You've known this for six years. He's really ditched. Ask him out. Hell, follow Lavender's approach and just kiss him. Kiss him. See what happens. Because I'm done with it at this point. Collier, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done with all of it. Do it or don't do it. I mean... I've had so many years of just, like, okay, are they together? Are they not together? Just kiss already! Ask him out. Ask, ask her out. Something you guys are. Come on. Whatever. So. Okay. He, then, then Harry goes up. He goes to ask questions. Like, I know she's gonna ask. I don't remember who cursed me. I've been trying. I can't remember it. And then Draco walks in. He's looking. But no, it, it was weird. Okay, because someone looked behind her, and then the screen no. switches and no, shows no. Draco. So didn't look behind her. She looked over Harry. I mean, she's huh? looking. She's looking at the entrance. Harry's looking at her. She looks because she sees Draco. But no, someone also pops up. For, okay, like, like I'm Harry, I, I the girl's, know, like, right it. there, but then, like, someone behind the girl pops up, like, hmm? Like, probably that. See, probably see what they're looking at. Who knows? Maybe it was her friend who was also there with her. Pro- probably. Who knows? Whatever. In, not, in, in, not the important part that you're distracting me from here. The important part that Draco walked in looking a little bit more successful. He's holding himself up a little higher. Uh-huh. Then he sees her, and he starts to panic, and he runs. Yeah. Like, man, that's not... That's not very uh, that's subtle. That's subtle, Draco. And then Harry's like, he gets pursued. He's like, okay, I know it's him now. Yeah. He's Harry's giving chase. He chases him into the bathroom. Harry, Draco's freaking out. And then and he, they, then they have a battle. They're like, they they're finally gonna have it out. They start blasting at each other. They're breaking shit all over this fucking bathroom. Where's the security? Where are all the auras that were here? <laughs> they don't hear all this going down. Then fucking shut down. Hogwarts. And then Harry tries to spell out. Sectum Sempra, and he blasts Draco, and then you just see him. You see right, that pin. Yeah, and then and then you see blood, and you're like, oh, uh, this was a little too far. Yeah. And you see, you look at Draco, and it's like you see, I was like, I was like, oh no, <laughs> uh, did not mean to do this. And then every, everyone walks in, and he's like, oh, sh- it, it's Snake. 
knows how to heal it. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, hmm. Put it in it. Put it in it. Fucking. <laughs> Harry runs out. He's like, all right, cool. I gotta go. And no he, one he just heals stops him. Harry. Heals him. No. I mean, technically, I mean, Draco struck first, right? Yeah. So, but they, they didn't stop like, hey, what happened? No, no questioning, right? No questioning. No one talking to each other. I mean, I was really like, what happened in here? I could have sworn yeah, Harry was like, to, he hit me first. He tries to move, and like people are like, no, you're not. You're not we're, we're talking about this. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to just run away from this problem. You went, you drew blood yeah. from another student. Yeah, that's that's a little too far. Yeah. But they, I, I, whatever. But then they, they're like, okay, cool. We need to take that book from you, Harry. You need to make sure to put it where you'll never find it again. Why are you treating it like it's this thing obsessed with it? I'm like, or you could burn it too. Yeah, that too, that too. Yeah, like, burn it. It's like, it's not an artifact, guys. It's just someone's old book that he learned a spell from that he shouldn't have used. Yeah, just... Like, we're going to hide it. And they're, they're in the room where requirement, hide it, someone right? might find it again. Destroy the damn thing. What? They're, they're in the room where requirement. They put in the room requirement. Yeah. They're, they go to the thing, but it's covered, so Harry doesn't rec- doesn't know what it is. They're yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. They, they, they open up a little, and the bird flies. I was like, they don't know what you'll find in the room requirement. You're like, yeah. Like the major plot device. <laughs> <laughs> the MacGuffin right in front of you. Yeah. Uh, so Jenny's in there with him. No, she's gonna go hide it. Harry, close your eyes so you close don't know eyes. where it is. She, they step away from it. Give it. He gives a kiss. It's a little. It was like. I was like. That's the take. That's what you guys went with. Yeah. I, I thought that was hey. gonna be full on. Uh, I thought this. I thought it was gonna be more of like the Harry Cho kiss. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me too. Like that, like, like that one look, with, without the tears inside. Yeah. It's like yeah, like that one. It was like that. Was, that could be saying over here too. It's like I mean that was basically nothing. So yeah. And, yeah. and then immediately the next thing Ron did and you, Harry did you and Jane do it I was like amazing huh? do what hide the book oh oh yeah yeah I'm like <laughs> phrasing with that one he's like yes yeah, and then they see the person the still on the album yeah he's like well, no luck with that right luck it's like hey you just heard you had that did you forget you had the, one of the <laughs> most valuable potions of all time just sitting in your drawer? Which, by the way, I would keep it on me at all times. Also, just take that pin now. I would never leave that anywhere. That was still on my person at all times. These little thieving assholes in Hogwarts, <laughs> I can't leave that in my drawer. Fucking Neville's gonna come take it. He's like, all right, cool. Now's my fucking day. <laughs> the, the, this, this is Neville time right now. This Fuck is that my time to shine. Yeah. Move over, Potter. I'm the chosen one. Anyway. So, so now he... he uh, drink, all right, cool. They work out a plan. Cool. He drinks it. All right, they so just, cool. He literally I'm felt the same... He just literally but, felt the same way how Ron felt when we all thought that he took it. Oh, so that actually what the effect is supposed to be. He's smiling. He's like, cool. No, I'm, I'm going to have this. Like, but we we're the plan. The plan like, I know, but I feel like Harry's hey, is the place to be tonight. You, you know? And, and no. I was at that point. You know what? <laughs> he's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, he's high on life right now, man. He's, no, 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 no. He's feeling it. The liquid luck is, is playing its part. It's going to work. Just just let yeah. it roll. Yeah. It's that's just how luck is. Talking by, it. You see Professor Horace. He's in the window trying to cut some stuff out. He's stealing from the horology room. It's like, you're a teacher. You could just ask her. Or yeah. He's just stealing it. You're like... And, you're like, and just like, literally goes weird. up on him. <laughs> like, and, oh, sorry. No, like, there used to be uh, a what? shop there, a drinking game. Every time he says Merlin's beer, take a shot. It's only a couple times. Oh, cool. But I, I could have sworn that the last quarter of the movie, he said it so much. Like, oh, okay, say, no, I get it. He does say Merlin's beard a lot. He does. Fucking, um. Uh, okay, so. They talk about it, whatever, and he's like, where are you going? I'm going to see my friend Hagrid. It's like, eh, At this can't. hour? It's getting dark. Like, then, come with me. He's like, he's like, he's like you can't, can't let you do, <laughs> leave the school grounds. Well, then you should come with me, then. <laughs> I'm like, no, wow, what? this liquid luck he, is... He is bold. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking feeling himself. Let's fucking go. Let's go. And then you cut to... They're coming down there, and you see Harry on the hill. You know what's dead? Fucking Aragog, the spider from Chamber At of Secrets. At that scene, I'm like, oh, boy, I feel for July. Dead or not, it's... Fucking God damn it. Hagrid's <laughs> crying over it. He's, he's like, he's like, how'd you kill it? He's like, kill it. He was my friend. I'm like, oh, all right, so he just, you know, died. He's like, spiders, tragically misunderstood creatures. Yeah, also it's the... In, in... <laughs> oh, Harry. He's, I'm telling Harry, you, Harry's high. Harry, Harry. Harry's high. <laughs> He's high on life right now. He's high on life and high on luck. 
horse wants to go get some venom from it because it's like very rare. Yeah, yeah, because it's very hard to kill these things. They are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, you just can't single one out and just get some. It, it fucking breaks the fang off. I'm like, sure. It was nasty. Why not? It's crumbling. I know. Dead, I know. Dead insect. Exoskeleton's falling apart in the long music. Arachnid. Not an insect. Exoskeleton. Yeah, I know, but you said dead insect. But it's an arachnid. I said, I said it's dead, dead insect. It's an you said dead insect. I said dead exoskeleton. That's not anymore. Anyway, so. Don't sweep what, your mistake under the carpet. It's not under the carpet. When you go back and edit it's under this. the spider. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. So, he says know. a few words. They go back to Hagrid's and they drink. And. And at the point, all drunk. right. There Harry's he goes. He's not drunk. He's just sitting in the corner high. Just still. like. They're just singing, mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. about some good times, mm-hmm. how Hagrid first had him since the first time. Then he talked. Horace mentions a goldfish that he had. One day, just poof, gone. Empty bowl. Nope, doesn't know what happened. Yeah. But he does know what happened. Because he immediately yeah. says it in the... He says it immediately. Yeah, in the next scene. <laughs> Two minutes later. Two minutes later. Yeah. He literally gave it to him. It was a charm. And then when she died, it went away. That's how he knew that she was dead. And then Harry starts talking about it. He brings up the mom. He's like, unless you want her death to be in vain, I need that memory because I need to know how to beat him. If you have any information on that, that would... That, that would just... That would be very... Memory. Yeah. Unless be your, your ball is going to be brave forever. like her, and then he does like gives it. it. They go there and they actually see what it is. And it steadies his hands too. Yeah. Like, oh, such a touching moment. Yeah, that look of what worked. Both fi- figuratively and literally. <laughs> then they go, they go look at it. This one, Dumbledore actually looks at too. Yeah. So they uh, they see it. They, he and asks for Horcruxes. Horcruxes. Yeah. It's I know. I have actually heard of that before. You probably I saw- have. Yeah, you probably have. I can't. I'm, I was like, where did I hear this from? A video game or something? But like, yeah. it wasn't like the same it's, definition though. Yeah, but this one, it splits the soul. How yeah. you split the soul? Murder. That's how you split the soul. Because you're not meant to kill other people. That's how you do it. Like, yeah. What's well, someone to do it seven times? Merlin Spears. Come on, this time it's seven, but seven people. Oh no, no, no! But it's all just it's all academic, right? Of course. Of course. Perfect. Our little secret. Boy, I swear, I'm just staring <laughs> death. In yeah. the face, like kids, good. Ah, wow, I got the freaking kids. Just man. come on. So, yeah. He, so he split his soul seven times. So that means he killed seven people. Which means there's which well, he probably killed more than that, but he to split he did that. Which yeah. is why. So I'm, I'm guessing him, like which it, is why he didn't die when he, he had to bounce back around. Well, he was just a little frail figure. He can't <sighs> die. He had his horcrux. He had his horcrux around. That thing was just to get his body back. So. If like, I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. Yeah. So Tom Riddle killed yeah. people, and I'm guessing he just so his single soul now split into two, and then it split into three, and then and then seven pieces just like wandering around in his soul. But then he had to extract a no. piece of his soul into these pieces. No, that is that, a horcrux. When you do that, you it becomes the horcrux. Yeah, yeah. Well, not become a horcrux. You put your soul into something. Yeah. I'm I'm guessing that the horcrux is the process of putting your soul into an object for safekeeping. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was... Okay, okay. It's a way to obtain immortality. Yeah. So, like, oh, there's not just one of There's seven of... If essentially, seven of me. But... Well, not seven of him, but there's seven... Seven parts pieces of, of him. Yeah, so it's not like... Now, I can't wait to figure out what all seven pieces are. That, that's what I'm... Well, like, you know what one is already. Well, you know what two are. Well, one I, was. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so... Dumbledore had been suspecting it, but he even couldn't prove it. Now he knows because he has the memory. He's like, yeah, okay. He's like, when you brought me the diary, that was like, this is a match I haven't seen. That was a Horcrux. Yeah. The ring, also a Horcrux. Yeah. Which is what destroyed his hand when he was trying to destroy it. Yeah. That's why his hand's like that. A thrilling tale, but not a tale that needs to be told right now. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay, so now we can take that pin out. <laughs> yeah, now that pin's out. All right, cool. All the pins are coming out. They're falling. Up, the board's falling. <laughs> and they're like, cool. And I think I know where another one is. And he got, they just go to this cliffside. He's like, you know I what? I could have s- uh, I could have swore uh-huh. I saw that cliffside somewhere. You did earlier in the film. Yeah, on his wall. That's the picture of it. There, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. All right, <laughs> so, I dropped it right now. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like I'm about to apparate there. It's like I actually couldn't apparate within this wall. Like, well, being me, have its privileges. Oh wait, there was the scene with uh, Snape and Dumbledore. That's right. right. Snape and like, Dumbledore right before, I mean, they, right before they apparate. Yeah. Like, that, they, they do the memory, they have the conversation, then they to apparate. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Snape goes like, down, he's like, he was like, didn't even say the word He's talking like, to him about something, and it's like, I, he's like, this shouldn't be done. Like, if you ever considered you're not so wise that this shouldn't be a plan, like, this is the plan, and it needs to happen, Cerberus. 
if Snape, whatever it is, he's not happy about he it. He is not. He's ha- not having it. So he just storms out. He's like, dude, like, as smart as you are, like, I mean, <laughs> come on, one of the greatest minds in the Wizarding World, and you are not. <laughs> you think this is the best course of action. It's like telling a general, like, do you really think it's a good idea to send five people in their freaking war zone against 5,000? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> that was literally the vibe I was getting here. I'm like, but Snape, I, I but can't Snape, trust... But, but Dumbledore's like, my word's final on this, so you just gotta do it. Yeah, Snape's yeah I was like, okay, Snape's not having it. Snape is still, you know, he's not on the good side, but I'm, you know, Dumbledore, he knows all. He has a plan. The plan is gonna be course of action. Uh-huh. Everything's gonna be great. So they go, and they're going to the fucking, um... Cliffside. Cliffside. How to get over to the actual cliff? Who knows? Maybe they operate over there too. Because they that. literally just like you know landing on the they same. They operate to have that that landscape shot. I'm just standing out there like, like hey, we got that money. Just go ahead wind. and flex. <laughs> like cool, let's go. And I thought, okay, man, you just literally landed on the same rock that the little memory was on when she was singing her song. Whole new world. Uh, <laughs> that's not the song. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I don't know what the song was. Anyway, uh, part of your world. Whatever. So. They, they go and they gotta they're gotta get in there somehow so cool Dumbledore cuts his hand yes like oh like, no you're you let me do that. like listen your book was more than mine I'm already weak anyway this is no hand thing yeah so cool they got things come crumbling crumbling yeah, you see some obsidian 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 there we go and all those uh, rocks and everything I yeah it's right? pretty nice it's like obsidian again <coughs> flexing with that budget they, they just, looks great and then my mother oh this is literally Hades' little lake of death. Boy, how right you were. <laughs> anyway. We even have a shot underwater, like, that's hair. Oh, hey, look, it's because inside. Because they, they, the, they got to pull the uh, boat over and just lift it up. and then just Yeah, I know. Us. Like, yep, it's Hades' lake of death. And then that underwater shot, like, oh, oh that, he tells that's... him, Harry, whatever happened, you have to follow my orders. If I say jump, if I say jump, it, you jump. You say how high, you do all that. If I if tell I, you to leave without me it, and without save yourself, yourself, you, you just do it. do it. Cool. Nike, put a check on it. Yes, put a check on it. <laughs> Fucking so they go over there and they get to this thing. A little scoop. You got. You can't just pour it out. Apparently, you got to drink it and it's poison. So. No one's like, well, I'm already weak. So, so I'm gonna do I'm it. Gonna you know what? You gotta, gonna, you gotta, you know, you force sure, it down. You my, gotta make sure I keep doing it. I may forget who I am. I may go crazy. I may become violent. But you have, but to, you make have sure. to. I keep drinking it. And you know what? To me, that looks like water with like just some thin grape juice powder. It's poison. Like, That's the most dangerous of the poison. The point you can't see. Yeah, it's like it looks like water. It's not. <laughs> so you just you drinking it, and I don't. He's going. He's like, no, he's not. Yeah, no, no, you gotta drink it. They finally get to the end. They get the fucking locket out of there. So and that's like, the Horcrux. The locket's a Horcrux. Yes, I believe it's um. Fuck. I think it's one of, like, it's I think it's Salazar Slytherin's locket. Mm. I'm not sure. Which, the, I, the original House of Slytherin. Actually, the original Slytherin. The OG Slytherin. I'm gonna look up the list of the Horcruxes. You can't look at this list because you get a spoiler. It's my way, so spoilers. But anywho, uh, what happens uh, after he finishes? Like, he's like water. Like, all right, Aquila sees just the, the water spell, and then he takes the thing, and it's like, it's not a. Uh, it won't hold it. it, it oh, always, why is it, it not holding? Oh, we hold the poison. <laughs> what the? That's, that's what how bullshit is this? Voldemort's mind is. Will, oh, even when you get to it, you're not gonna make it out of here. <laughs> you're gonna yeah. fucking die. <laughs> And then he uh, tries to goes to the water, the lake of death. Like, dude, that is a bad idea. Bad idea. Hey, his freaking uh, Lumos yeah. Maximus charm yeah, is a- going down. Hey, Potter, recede, come back, retreat, and nah! I'm like, yeah. well, there it is. Speaking the, of death, speak, <laughs> speak of the death. Oh man, the things are coming. You're like, all right, cool. How's Harry gonna get out of this one? And like I thought, like where, where's Dumbledore? Where's Dumbledore? Where is he? Where is? Oh, here he's on the water. All right, there he is. This is it. He's this. This is uh Goblet of Fire all over again. All right. But Too bad worse. you don't have the freaking seaweed, uh, Luke weed. What was something weed? Too bad you don't got that. But hey, guess what? Freaking Phoenix Fire just whoosh. Yep, yeah, Voldemort. Whoosh. Dumbledore. Whoosh. Just the fire doesn't burn. Freaking uh, he's on, he's on wildfire. Yeah, he's, he's, he's on adrenaline right now. He's like, all right, cool. Oh, you got to get the fuck up out of here, Harry. 
just burn her the sh- out of everything, and then like, what probably the- happened is that he tra- he was like, all right, cool. Don't just stuck his face in. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, I'm, all right, let's go. All right, I'm good. Let's go. And then just uh, freaking, I'm uh, just gonna park the, the the red sea with the red flames. All right, okay. let's go. That's out. Then they get back to the they get back to the tower. Get back to the tower. And it's not looking good for Dumbledore. He's still, he's still feeling the effect. He's like, cool, we gotta get to. Nope, bring Snape. Snape will know what to do. Boy, I, I Harry, I, I this uh, Harry is important for you to hide. At don't say anything. this point in the movie, I'm like, oh, my stomach's turning. I don't like the setup. I don't like this. I really. Oh yeah, because I don't. Also, they get back and then Draco. He did it. He did it, boy. He uh, got those Death Eaters in there. Yeah. They all step out. Here comes the Belters of Strange. And he, he Fenrir, is. And here come two other masked Death Eaters. Yeah. And and Bellatrix. What is it? Bella. Bellatrix Lestrange. Bellatrix. Yes. I need to remember this. Bellatrix. 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 First name. I'm guessing Bella. Last name. Trix in the title. No. For... Bellatrix is her first name. Lestrange. The Strange. Yeah. I thought it was The Strange. The Strange. I well, like, I mean, technically, yeah, that's The Strange. <laughs> but it's The Strange. Yeah, the Strange. But he... There's a he kind of the Strange family, too, that's part of... Remember, they related to the Black family. They're the, the cousins. Yeah. Boy. Malfoy and all that, remember? Boy. And so is Thomas and Fedora. There's so much relation going on here. Boy. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway he... Oh, yeah, so... Guys, it's Seller Sisters Lockett. That's right. We'll go to the other ones later. Okay, but they... Okay, so they're in, and he's just... Causing a ruckus in Hogwarts. Oh, dining hall. Well, that's that's after when oh. they leave. No, no, no. He does that. At, no, no, oh, they, no at, yeah, they, yeah. Really, because they 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 kill. No, no, we'll get to it. So we'll anyway, to, so yeah. they. Walk, so they're on there. Harry's Harry, hiding. You have to hide. Don't come out. No matter what. Don't make a sound. Just listen to me. You trust me. And he does. And he goes down. Yeah, like Dumbledore. And he walks in. No, Draco. He's Draco. Like, he's. He went to Malfoy. He's talking to him. He's, that's when we start talking about the attention to like, like the lock. And, 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 like, and at this point, like, there's a weak sauce, man. What are you doing? It's like that's not in your heart. Like I, 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 I have to do this. Don't you see? Like, it, I'm the I'm, I'm the chosen, chosen one. I'm, I'm chosen. I have to do this. Like listen, man. Yeah. And it's like, how did he like? You're not alone. How did you get them into the school? He's like, the fucking um, what is it called? The, the box. The the cupboard. The, the cupboard. Cap- whatever. Something cabinet. He's like, it had a twin. He's like, yes. And I fixed it. Have been fixing it. I was like, brilliant. Brilliant. It's like he's still calling me though. It's like he's like still still a headmaster. It's like see you got potential, man. He's like, nope, you gotta do this. And the deputy just walk in. It's like, all right, cool. It's time to do it. They're calling out. It's like not doing it. And you see Snape under there with Harry. Oh yeah, Harry. Harry was like, and then Snape's like, like no. Snape. But can I trust you? Mm, can, I, I, mm, in, the, in the book, mm, I think mm. he stuns Harry to make sure he doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, but, like he's like, you know, make sure he doesn't do anything because he knows he's Harry's emotional. Like, no, stop. I got this. And he goes up there. He goes up. And he's like, yeah. "Servers, my father." And, I love him. and at that point, that's that. That's when I text you. That moment, yeah, at the you, end, you couldn't even say for, it. For, for the you audience, couldn't even for, say it. For the audience, read the text. For the audience. Okay, here we go, motherfucker. This this guy. Me me me. Let's see here. Let's see. I think you I had three o five. It's three o five a.m. Fuck this movie. Me, my mouth. <laughs> I hate everything. Why? Dumbledore is dot, dot, dot. Is what? Did you finish the movie? Me? Yeah, in 2009. In a book in 2005. <laughs> you know exactly why I hate burn to the intensity of a million stars. You don't even say it. I must not speak of the tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even say it until you die. I was so upset. So you didn't know that. Huh? You didn't know anything about that. Dumbledore dying. No! Okay, yeah, so, this, re- you know how people, everyone's like, the asshole, they do the spoiler thing, like how, back in the day it was, uh, Darth Vader is Luke's father. Yeah. This took that, was like, Snape kills Dumbledore. That was, that took the place in 2005. Oh, 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 oh. okay. I, Snape I, kills Dumbledore. Uh, com. No, 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 yes. Huh? Snape kills Dumbledore.com, that's a rooster teeth joke. Remember the shorts, they kept saying that? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Freaking, like... Barbara, hey, I got I I Snape kills, kills, kills Dumbledore. God damn it, Bar- you didn't even remember. I, <laughs> yeah. this is why, this is things aren't spoilers until you get caught. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So yeah, Snape killed him, and they're going, they're going, 
and now it's time to leave. And this is my part. Okay, so in the books. <laughs> and I keep saying that it's, it's going to be okay. It hurts so bad. It's going to be okay. But yeah, in the books, there was a battle for them to get out. Because, you know, there are auras around. But there was no battle. They just kind of walk out. Those were trying to blow some stuff up. But yeah, there was no fighting. Which, in the movie, I was like, did I mi- do I misremember the book? Yeah, we're back. Like, no, there is, there are. There's battles. supposed to be a battle. Yeah, there are. There is a battle for them to get out of Hogwarts. But I'm guessing that's like gonna be like the beginning of like previously on the Half Blood Prince, the part that you didn't see. No, no, no. There, there was no battle. They just kind of walked out. Remember, there's an aura. He just, he just, he just, he just yeah, he just, just like just keep walking. <laughs> it's like where's the fight? Yes, freaking. Uh, what was it? Uh, the spell that Harry did. Superfly. Oh, spell of Ramos. No, uh, the one he did on Draco. Second Sephora. Like I said, no, he doesn't kill them. He just he just uh, immobilizes them. Oh, super fine. Yeah, super fine. Just get out of my way. We're walking. We're out. Gotta get out of the ground so they can apparate out of there. Yeah. And fucking Harry is chasing them down. He said he. They get to Hagrid. They blow up the. They blow up the cottage. And fucking, I hope Hagrid is not there. He wasn't. Okay. You, thank see, you see him. With, you see him in the crowd with everyone when they were around Dumbledore. Oh yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Fucking um. Okay. Okay. My heart. Harry's trying, I, I Harry's can't, trying to fight I can't. Snape. He's like, fight back, you coward. He trusted you. He he trusted. Up, like he's for the Dark Lord. And then like, man, she just walks off. And then he's like, Sick this he said the Do you can get me for my own spells? And I thought like, ha, ha, yes. ha, ha. I am the half blood prince. Which I was like, I mean, that would That would be an impressive reveal for me if the entire movie had hinged on who the Half-Blood Prince was. But the Half-Blood Prince is such a thing oh, on the side but, that's but, not really that important. It's like, cool. And that all, like, I, he's like, oh, that's right. Back in the whole potions class and reflecting on when Snape was a potions teacher, and he was, yeah. I'm guessing a hell of a potions teacher, but he wouldn't be that great if he didn't know his potions back when he was in the, you know, yeah, he knew, a student. He knew potions. That's why he got that job. He had to keep keeping that job. So yeah. Good up potions. And, Knows it. So yeah. yeah. He, 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 Snape is a half-blood prince. So and, uh, I'm, he's a half-blood prince. Yeah, Snape is half-blood. I, this entire time, well, I just thought that this... Part of the reason why he got bullied in school. Huh? Part of the reason why he got bullied in school. In this entire time, I was thinking, oh, it's just a title that some kid called him. So like, oh, no. I'm a half-blood prince, yada, yada. But Voldemort is also half-blood because he has to keep feeding on unicorn's blood. No. You know, he, he had to keep feeding on unicorn's blood because he was close to death and stuck on the back of uh, Quirrell's head. Ah, okay. Yeah, because that's a, it's a, tape, a way to obtain immortality as well, but it's a... You have to but you got to You live a half-life. Yeah. Oh, they're half-life, yeah. but not half, uh, uh, half-blood. No, no. Okay. So... I think... And then they walk off, and then <coughs> they gather around, you know, Dumbledore's dead body, and then, you know... But, but uh, I believe Voldemort is also half-blood. I didn't think about it, yeah. Because he... I'm not sure if they ever reveal in the movies. Never mind. Well, but we'll put a pin in that. If they don't, I'll just tell you at the end of the uh, fucking uh, series. Well, at in the Harry Potter films. I'll probably forget it. I'll ask you. No, no, it's fine. I'm not sure they ever reveal it, though. I just can't remember it. But anyway, anywho. So, they go back, and Dumbledore's dead. Everyone's crowded around them. Oh, yeah, they also did the whole Dark Mark thing. I mean, the... Oh, yeah, the, uh, what's the name did that? Yeah, the Elsewhere's Strange. Yeah. Miss Strange. Miss Strange. I'm going to just call her Miss Strange. Miss Strange? Sure, why not? Strange family. Uh, so, Beatrix looks strange. They're dead. No, I mean, Dumbledore's dead. Everyone's dead. I'm Everyone's sad. up to his body, and it's just like he can't believe it. And then he goes up to come through him, and then they're all crying. Then we're gonna go put your wand up. They start lighting up the up. sky, then they did, and they get rid of the dark mark. And it's like, because they, they don't they're like, they don't really want that here. Not that sort of time. Yeah. So, after and that, then, uh, they're on the tower, and then Harry and Hermione are talking. Ron's just kind of sitting there. Yeah, just and then it. fucking um, he, he shows her money, block it's a fake. Oh yeah, that's right. And then and I also there's a note left for it. Mm-hmm. The Dark Lord, I have taken the real locket. By the time you find it, I'm probably dead, but I have destroyed the locket. Hopefully, I have destroyed the locket, and I hope that you are in one step closer to becoming mortal. Sincerely yours, R A B. Oh, okay. So okay, wait, R A B A B initials. I thought I heard. H, no. uh, B P. If H B P, I'm it's like very specifically R A B, and we'll get to that later. Put it in it. Put it in it. <laughs> and I'm like, H P B, Half Blood Prince, Snape. Can I trust you? No, no. 
Oh, you wish it was they like hit H <laughs> half foot freeze. I feel like we told Dumbledore that before he went and got himself killed. <laughs> Uh, fucking, uh, let me see. And then, uh, he's like, well, you can't do this alone here. Like, well, no, here's like, I'm not coming back next year. I'm going to... I'm going to war. I'm going to go find these things and destroy them. And it's like, Harry, why are you good? You're, you're good, but you're really thick sometimes, you know? You're like, do you think you're going to be able to find all these by yourself? We're coming with you. <laughs> oh, all the way, Ron, it's okay with you and, uh, Jen- oh, did she, the Ron scared you and Jenny, but she probably took the snogging down to a minimum when he's around. And that's always like, I'm not coming back. I gotta go, f- I gotta go finish with Dumbledore started. So... Good on him. Yeah. And then uh, uh, something flies in the sky. I'm like, oh, it's it was a phoenix. Piece. Yeah, it was, it was a phoenix. I thought fox. so. Yeah. It was Dumbledore's phoenix. Yeah. Fox. I thought so. Yeah. And then. Cut to black. Yeah. Bad Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Bad Star Wars. <laughs> so, what'd you think of the. It was an enjoyable walk until that last part. Okay, Which is why you're I, saying, and I know, but you're not saying it's bad. You're just saying. I mean, it's not a bad movie. I just didn't like what happened at the end of the movie. I don't like the death of Dumbledore. It's like, it's it's the impact that should have had me for the death of Obi Wan Kenobi in the first Star Wars. Wait, what? It's it's the you impact. Mean no, not quite gone. Obi Wan Kenobi. You didn't have you didn't have an emotional connect. You didn't feel anything when Obi Wan died. No. In the, in, oh, the first, in the first Star Wars? How dare you? I did it. How dare you? Obi Wan died. Dude, it was just two old people poking each other with I mean, the, fight, the fight wasn't that, but it's like he died. He's dead. He's gone forever, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, it, that was. Emo- I mean, I love Dumbledore. He's like, yo. What? <laughs> like, yo, Harry, what you pulled was, like, pretty dangerous, but I respect that. Oh, you're stupid. 50 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but nah, no, just, you know, one of the greatest mo- wizarding minds is now gone. Their tank is now gone. Everything rests. Have to rest on Harry's shoulders for the next two, I mean, if not his shoulders alone, the, the, the trio. And boy, let me tell you, this trio is still figuring out what the heck to do with uh, their personal lives? Mm-hmm. Well, they know what they're gonna do now. The Death Be Hells Part One and Part Two is gonna be uh, a train wreck of a mess, but I'm gonna love it either way. I want to say that Snape will come around, but I don't know. I want to say Mafra will come around, but I don't know. I know that Pelletrix the Strange will get hers. I know she will. The, he's gonna fuck up she's gonna fuck up real bad and she's gonna get hers maybe who knows I know she will maybe the bad it, guys win you know huh maybe the bad guys win they, they won't they won this one huh they won this one alright here's the thing you kept saying like the last couple you I, said like had another, man, another happy ending it's like I don't think the other the, I don't think from Prisoner of Azkaban they've had a happy ending I think Goblet of Fire is a sad ending because Cedric is the, the Dark Lord's back they kill Cedric immediately. Yeah. Like there's immediately the first casualty of this. Movie. But um, I mean, I'm talking then, about like, like the last even, five even, minutes. I mean, it's an upper tone. It's like, all right, yeah. cool. There's hope for the future, but that doesn't mean it's a happy ending. Like also, Order of Phoenix. No, Sirius is dead. The yeah. hell, this is, these aren't happy endings. You kept saying that. I was like, I disagree and, with you oh, entirely. Oh, and now this one, they're like, you can't even say that anymore. It's like this is the third death we've had in three movies. Dude, <laughs> like, he, Harry doesn't know his parents. Freaking Cedric, he's gone. Freaking Sirius, his only last bit of like, not necessarily blood related, but like his he was, that was Godfather. He Godfather gone, and now Dumbledore. Yeah. And McGonagall's trying to get that moment for him too, but Harry's been like, if you've ever been able to talk, he's like, you know, he meant he meant a lot to him, Harry. Yeah. And his wand was still on his desk. Mm-hmm. Put a pin in it. I know. I, I saw that. I'm like, you don't show his wand for nothing. I just put a pin in that one. I I'm, I'm sad that the Oh yeah, gone. Draco did disarm him too. I forgot that. Huh? Draco did disarm him. He said, "Cause it just said for a show." He, he expelled him. Yeah, he had blasted out of his hand because he's like, "Well, to make it easier for you, he started drawing his wand." And he said, "Expelled Aramis did nothing." I was like, "Very good." Oh, oh okay. That's yeah. like he was like praising him like <laughs> Dumbledore. Mm-hmm. He just okay. Okay, I'm gonna analyze that scene real quick. Yeah. Okay. I got so much knowledge that you don't know. That's good. <laughs> so, 
Dumbledore, I think Dumbledore knew all along that Draco was doing that. That Draco, I think he was playing Draco the entire time. Oh yeah, Dr- Dumbledore always. Dumbledore knew. knew that Draco was pulling these screens, and he allowed it. I knew. I think that Dumbledore knew that Draco was the chosen one, but I think Not the he chosen was. One. He's been chosen. Been chosen. Harry's the chosen one. Two I, different things. Yeah, yeah. I think Dumbledore knew this all along, yeah, he but did. he had that's this plan that was set in motion to play a certain way to have the end game that's going to be in Deathly Hollows Part Two. Dumbledore knows this because they keep saying and referring to Dumbledore like one of the greatest the one, minds in of all time. The, the you don't him. mention that throughout this entire right. franchise. The Snape killed him. But I, I'm getting that to that too. I'm getting <laughs> to that too. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just grabbing. My my, my 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 visible notes here. Okay. Go ahead. Jacob keeps saying I have to do this. I'm chosen. Yes. But I've been chosen. but yeah. Draco doesn't do it. Yeah, Snape does. Snape does. Well, that Snape has to because he made the unbreakable vow. If Draco can't, he has to. No, 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 no. Otherwise, Snape dies. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's the reason why because if Draco doesn't do that and someone else does, if so neither of them do it, Snape dies. I was. I was thinking like, okay, but, but yeah, he's just backing him up. Like, hey, I, I no, will not help. Backup. Huh? Not backup. Because one of the things he says, if Draco Kent is unable to complete the test, will you do it? And Snape uh, says yes. Okay. So if one of the other people in the room besides Draco or Snape kills Dumbledore, Snape dies because he did not complete his promise. Okay, okay. But also, I'm thinking of this as like a, from a prophecy type of stand. Yes. The chosen one. There's only one prophecy here, and we already know it. Neither can live while the other survives. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's, but that's the one Harry. That's is chosen. yeah, that, that's his. But that's like, he's but I'm just like you know, as prophecies are supposed to go for like, mm-hmm. the bad guy does this or the good guy does. This. If if uh Draco was the chosen and he has to do these things in order to fulfill, you know that, an you know what that means, right? He's been chosen. No, the Dark Lord chose him to do it. I mean, he oh, gave him that job. Oh yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, you have to do it because your father's locked up and you can't do it. Yeah, so you have to now. But it's not it's not a prophecy thing. He's really just saying you have to do it. But, but also what? the chosen, yeah. he's been chosen to do the job, but he didn't do it. Yeah. So that's probably gonna throw something out of whack. And I think that now, the only thing that's gonna throw out of whack is that Snape did it, not Draco. It's like, okay. Dumbledore's dead? Cool. No, it it doesn't matter. No, it didn't, it, 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 it didn't matter. It, no, it didn't There's matter. There's gotta be something bigger. I, no, it didn't matter. He just wanted Dumbledore dead because he can't get to him. But Draco came because he had access to the school. Yeah. That's why you have to do it. Lucius had access because he was a governor. He could just mm-hmm. walk in whenever he wanted mm-hmm. to. But he got locked up. It was like, cool. <laughs> so now I have to rely on your son to do this. That's the only reason he's been chosen. There is no there's no greater thing. He's like, I just want Dumbledore dead. I want this fool dead. Which is why Draco was also looking into it. So if he couldn't, someone else in there could. If there was going to be a battle, so someone could kill Dumbledore. It was going to be the invasion of Hogwarts. That's the only reason that he brought those people. Mm-hmm. But it really is overshadowed because they don't have a battle at Hogwarts. Yeah. So him doing all that doesn't matter anymore. Which is this, so weird why they did that decision. But also, I... No battle. So they had all the people just sitting around standing there. But also, yeah, also that? again, I, I think... Yes. I'm speculating. Uh-huh. It's a theory. Hypothesis, we say. It's not a theory because I'm, <laughs> listen, they're not standing a lot of water. I'm telling you, like, no, it's literally because he just I think Dumbledore that dead. Dumbledore and Snape also both knew that Snape was Dumbledore going Snape? to kill, huh? Dumbledore and Snape? Yeah, Dumbledore and Snape. You I knew think that Snape was going to kill him? I think they kind of planned this. I think they kind of knew all. I think Snape, I, I think I can try to trust him still. Because the chosen didn't right. do his task, so Snape did it. Okay, and you're, also you're focusing story. on the chosen part way too much because that's not a prophecy or anything. It's, it's just, just like, it's like your boss giving you a job. You are now chosen to do it. That's all that is. You're not you're not you're not preordained to fix every jet in the fleet now, Collier. You're just like no, just flicks that one. You're not you're not like your so. Pro- that's prodigal son. Dumbledore just I mean not Dumbledore. Dumbledore really just gave him a job to do. So referring back this to is, a, this is this is this is his initiation. That's his, that's his initiation. To prove himself. Oh. He has to, like, I have to prove myself. And he didn't prove himself. I mean, so he, he could, is he not did, he worthy. Did, he did, did Hogwarts fail thanks to Draco. So, listen, he did something that the Dark Lord couldn't. But he so. also had one job, and he couldn't do it. Uh, well, I mean, he got done, though. 
<laughs> it's not like no one is still walking around prancing around like every day I'm dumbling. <laughs> every day I'm dumbling. But no, uh, okay, but <laughs> I think Dumbledore and Snape plant this just to throw things out of whack. Mm-hmm. I think that Dumbledore knew that he was going to fall to Snape. I think he let him kill him. I really think that he let him kill him and I think Snape didn't really want I mean, to, but he knew he had to do it. He didn't have it his was, wand on him, so he didn't it, have much it, choice there. Yeah, yeah, but but he, it was a setup. It was a setup for a bigger picture. It's too easy. Is it? It's too easy. I mean, you listen. He was poisoned. He had just been gone. He came back, and he came back to Death Eaters in this house. It's no, no. I mean, as much as I didn't like that scene, and I only watched that scene once, but I I keep thinking about him. Like, no, there's a bigger picture to this because. See, that's Why gonna, did Snape that's trust gonna, Harry so much to not just stupefy him if he which, knew which that he was going to kill I'm saying, I'm saying Dumbledore? Book, I'm saying in the book, he had stunned him. I mean, I mean yeah. 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 They don't put that. like, how long is that to put in? You put all this high school angst in here? You can't put a five second him just stunning him? Like, stupefy. No, not stupefy. Like a critical totalis. A critical totalis. Or some sort of stun. He's like, shh. And then just go. Because that's what happens. He gets stunned, so he can't do anything. Cause you know Harry would have blasted him the moment he saw it. You know he would have. But he's so wrong. <laughs> Cause Harry acts on emotion a lot. Yeah, he does. Not very like he's he he got some intelligence, but he acts on emotion very quickly. It's like that's like also why he's chasing him down. <laughs> you coward! He trusted he's like, you. He's chasing down all these Death Eaters. Like Harry, does that seem like the slight? That doesn't seem like the, 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 the smartest. Idea. No, no. It, it is not. And just uh. There's something bigger here that I'm not seeing or that yeah, I think uh, I'm seeing and just... Mm. Anyway, so... Mm. Guess what, everyone? My brain is cooking. Guess what, everyone? It is oh, boiling. One, one more trivia thing. It is uh, popping. One more little thing of trivia. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking, uh, where are we here? Mm. We're to bring a different look to this film. David Gates chose French uh, cinematographer... Bruno Bruno Mars Bruno De, uh, De Bono I don't know how to say his name I'm sorry I'm butchering it I don't care known for his you, for, known for his use of stylized color palettes to often that often feature prominent earth, earthly tones boy do you recognize that earthly tones <laughs> I think I did <laughs> no <laughs> at first the film was extensively color graded and due to and due to overly dark tones Warner Brother asked Yates and uh, Bruno to add more colors to the film as they could barely see anything on the screen. Both Yates <laughs> and Bruno were hesitant to do this at first, but after retouching some scenes, Bruno realized that he had overused the grading and the final product was better. Yates remarked uh, Bruno's... I keep saying Bruno's going to say the last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just saying Bruno. Bruno's work on the film as, quote, the choice of angles and extreme close-ups, the pacing of the scenes, it it's very layered, incredibly rich. End quote. End quote. It was the first and ultimately only film in Harry Potter uh, series to be nominated for a cinematography Oscar. Me personally, I can see a guy. It's hard for me to see anything going on in this film. So I was like, man, this is what happens after they edit color? Holy shit. It was, like, it was a dark screen. It was that TV right now. <laughs> I mean, I might be over exaggerating it. My first, my first viewing when there was a light around me, I guess it was hard. Last night, when in the dark, not it was easier to see. It was yeah. still a dark scene, so I was like, turn the light on, please. I mean, he's like, they could take, you know, some, uh, take a lesson or two from freaking, what is it? Goblet of Fire. Make it like, Goblet a, make it like, like a goddamn Goblet Bollywood film. The colors make them pop. Let's just see. Goblet of Fire and uh, the Sorcerer's Stone. Stone. It was bright. It, it was right, yeah. That was Chamber Secrets, yeah. And Chamber Secrets, yeah. That was yeah, like, that that was like actually the first on. introduction of like, oh, hey, it's dark, but hey, we can still fucking see these gray tones, man. Yeah. And the gray looks great. Anyway, so yeah. That basket is, man. So. They can't see you, but they can still hear you, but snakes don't hear. They don't have ears. Well, then. Neither then do they to, blink. Then how do you speak to them? I'm saying, maybe in the magic world it's different. <sighs> but they have to eat. If you want to speak something, they you have lips. to hear. They, they read lips. They read lips? They read they're not looking at it? Remember, he he said he gives the best of the order looking away from it. So, did they read his lips from behind him? I thought so. So, anyway, here we go. So, we're doing the villain. The villains for this one. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say just straight up Death Eaters. Everyone, all the death, every Death Eater in the world. Because there's so many of them. There's Fenrir, there's Bellatrix, there's Snape, there's Draco. 
Yeah, yeah. And they're the just, other two guys in the mask. Just put oh, them all in a I said, I, I said eyes wide shut last week for Order of Phoenix. What I meant to eyes say was doc, for the mask. Remember the mask they had? I, want you to know, <laughs> I meant to say Dr. Doom. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so number, okay, we're going from bottom of the list to top of the list. Number five, we have Professor Quirrell slash Vol, Voldemort SS. We have Peter slash Dementor Prisoner of Azkaban. We have Tom Riddle uh, in Chamber of Secrets. We got Dolores slash Vold in Order of Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> and Voldemort slash Deputor's uh, Goblet of Fire. Collier, where do you think we should put the Death Eaters from Half-Blood Prince? <sighs> I mean, the death of Dumbledore. That has to put him high, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... I mean, you know what? Them, uh, you know what? I think... They deserve to be number one. I'm thinking that same thing right now. You know what? Boom. Fuck it. I mean, Death Eaters. it's kind of like... Mm. You, you know nothing? You don't see Voldemort in this film. You don't? You see Tom Riddle, but you don't see the... Or I'll find you don't see you the don't see, whole... You don't see any Vol- of that. You don't see no, no Voldemort. You, no see, Vol- you have to see some of it in the, in the memories. Do I tell you like... He oh, yeah, when he's coming out the memory and you see like Voldemort. No, no, no. No, 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 no I, mean, like, I mean like... um. In his memories, in the books, you start to see him become more like the Voldemort you see. Yeah, yeah. But they don't. They cut like they cut a lot out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this was important. We don't need all the other. We just need these three. Yeah, yeah. We need the tra- him meeting him. We need the fake memory. We need the real memory. Done. Yeah. Which is a smart move to make, honestly. Yeah. So death eaters. And okay, number one is Goblet of Fire or Azkaban. <laughs> What's the matter? What did your phone change it to? It said death meat. <laughs> That's it. All right, so that list stands: Professor Quirrell, oh Sam Voldemort, SS Peter. Uh, I mean, SS is Sorcerer's Stone. Peter slash the mentors, Prison of Azkaban, Tom Tom Riddle, Dolores slash Vold, Voldemort, Death Eaters, Death Eaters. I mean, Death Meat. My stomach. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We are going to oh, rank oh, the movies. Oh, Call, are you with me still? My stomach hurts. <laughs> Death me. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach hurts. Why dude, would you do that? Dude, I, I said sh- Death Eaters in before. It just says Death me. Oh, my stomach. Let's go. We're, in, uh, we're at two and a half hours. We've been oh. Doing so. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, number... There we go. Okay, so uh. here's the ranking stand so far. I might actually build out, like, a little list to put on the screen. Here we go. We got Harry Potter and Chamber Secret S. We got... Uh, <laughs> Secret <laughs> S. I'm sorry. We got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's number four. Ha- number three, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Number two, ha- Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> and <laughs> Harry Potter... Number one, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Collie, where are you ranking Harry Potter? And the Half Blood Prince. Number two. Number two. Number two. Just because the intensity and the, my enjo- my enjoyment of this, uh, I'm, I can speak. <laughs> still too funny Death and meat. still too Death well. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean this one. It's got some high highs. It's got some lows. They're not low lows. But There's like some lows. I mean, hey, d- Dead Dumbledore. That's a low. That's a no, low. No, no, that's low. a high for a moment. I mean, a movie. moment, yeah, high moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, talking yeah. about like the quality of the film, not like like I oh, don't like it oh, because my favorite character died. Your favorite character's going to listen. I mean, I'm yeah, talking about you know like story forward definitely. I mean, I'm taking into consideration of like oh like was it exciting to catch my attention? It you did. Know, cinematography was great. Special effects, all right, cool. And you know, listen, we, we acting, been, the lighting. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. No, I'm not a fan of the cinematography. Like I don't know how I got a nominee for an Oscar. You can't see a damn thing, but whatever. I mean, hey. Sh- Things popped off in this things movie. Things did happen. And, like, most of my... Some of my disenjoyment comes with, honestly, it's, like, one of the things I try to step back from. It's, like, things that didn't happen in the book. Like, honestly, I was looking for... The one thing I was looking forward to was that battle of, of Hogwarts, and they didn't have it in there. It was, like... I mean, it, no, no, I can't lie. It's, like, they didn't I'll, even do anything exciting if they just walked out to school. It's, like, there was just a change... There was a change that did nothing for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I actually came not, not number two. Number... F- okay, hold on. Goblet of Fire. Pearson of Azkaban. Azkaban. Order of the Phoenix. Or what happened to Order? Okay, Death of, Okay. Uh, this was going to be number three then. Number three? Number Above three. Order of the Phoenix? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Order of the Phoenix had a nice fight at the end, but also all that movie, I was like, I don't care. This plot is just... Okay, well, this is This plot is plotty, and I don't care. So yeah, we're doing it. 
All right, so the new standing is Chamber of Secrets, number six, number five, Sorcerer's Stone, number four, Order of the Phoenix, number three, Half Blood Prince, number two, Prisoner of Azkaban, number one, Goblet of Fire. Oh. Will Goblet of Fire still there the entire time? We'll find out. <laughs> All right, cool. Next week we have fucking um, Deathly Hallows, Hallows part, part one. one. That's right. Remember that phrase in the movies when everyone's getting into part one and part two? We're in that phase now. <laughs> I'm looking at you, New Moon. Yeah, you need Twilight. It was Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2. Looking at you, Breaking Dawn. No, Twilight's this franchise. Like you would say, looking at you, Harry Potter, looking at you, Hunger Games. The franchise is generally that. It's the Twilight franchise, even though Twilight was also the first one, which makes it really confusing. There's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Eclipse. Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2. Looking at you, Twilight. Then there was Hunger Games, and there was Catching Fire, and then there was... I don't mm, remember. Something Mocking Jay. Mocking Jay Part 1 and 2. Both forgettable films. <laughs> I didn't watch All the four of them were forgettable films. Didn't opinion, watch a single one of them. Didn't watch a single one of them. Uh, fucking Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. All right. So, yeah. Next week, we got Deathly Hell Part 1. Uh, until then, uh. Call your quick something. Snake kills Dumbledore. <laughs> uh, Septums. Wait, wait, what's that spell? Uh, Septum Simpra. Huh? Septum Simpra. Septum Simpra! <laughs> Thank you for joining us in this video. If you want to find us online, you can always find me with one name on all platforms, Squared on Zargata. You can find Isaiah at... On Instagram and Twitter at Isaiah Pitcher and Jelani at... Jelani underscore Pete on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And of course, follow Fighting Wombat on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Stardust, and Patreon. $1 tier for poll access, $5 tier for early access, and $10 for full and exclusive access. And links to all this will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications when our new videos are up. And we see you guys in the next video, but in the meantime, stay awesome.